Morning. Of course my phone goes off the moment I hit go. Hi guys. How are you? Evie, stop. <laughs> like actually stop. Hi, how are you guys? Yes, I know, but you're the one being a bitch. Yes, but you're the one that gets to cry about it. Honestly, Winston, I wouldn't doubt it. Sorry, I have a dental appointment on like Tuesday for the first time ever. <laughs> Because my parents, for whatever reason, never took me, so I'm finally taking care of, like, myself. I finally got, like, dental insurance for it, so... Even though it's still gonna be... a good amount... It's fine. Why is the music in Pokemon Art Academy just, like, so chill? So nice. We're calling you about Pokemon's extended warranty. Please, you have a warrant out for your arrest if you do not extend your Pokemon warranty. Oh, I have it through ACA. So. It's only like, I think $30 a month. So, you know. ACA, which I believe got reopened for enrollment <clears throat> throughout the year. You know, go ahead, sign up for that shit. Oh yeah, no, I'm completely like ready for anything that's coming because I know like at least like four or five things that are fucked up and getting worse so anyway um apologies that i started so so late i didn't mean to i did sleep in and i'm gonna be really upfront i'm burnt out as fuck <laughs> on a bunch of things surprisingly not streaming streaming is not the thing i'm burnt out on um i'm burnt out on a lot of other things including being busy every fucking day of my life that's fun and that's why I've been exhausted recently and like waking up super late. Evie's being really cute. That's amazing. Oh my god. Um, yeah, bro, same, same. High five. Nice. Uh, super burnt out high five. There you go. And if that doesn't work, there you go. Works out. Anyway, um, I got nothing else to say for today. So, um, we are thinking about starting to plan the monthly VR chat streams. That's fun. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Anyway, I got nothing to say. So I'm just going to jump into it. So, let me switch over to... Nope, not that one. This one. Yeah, let's do some curse shit. No, I've not been able to do much of anything, Joe. I'm just kind of like coasting a lot, so... But... Of course you got that fucking one. God damn it. Let's kill it. Wait, what? No good idea. No! Fucking ugly ass motherfucker. Also, it's still in Korean. I was gonna say, tonight is like finally my day off though. And like after after stream today i have nothing to do today i have nothing to do tomorrow my mom isn't coming over to bother me in the morning to have breakfast together and i'm good i finally get to sleep in if i want i'm so excited 
And so I'm gonna fucking drink tonight. I'm gonna make some black velvets and I'm gonna fucking party by pl drinking like one black velvet and playing Monster Hunter with my friends. So, you know. <clears throat> smoke weed or I keep wanting to try weed again. I mean, totally not. I keep wanting to smoke very legal substances. Um, because I didn't used to do it because of my anxieties, but my anxieties have gotten better. Kind of. And my PTSD has gotten worse, so I'm wondering if it helped the PTSD. Spoilers, yeah, I have PTSD, by the way. <laughs> So on the large, on the large list of all the things that I have, we can have ADD, PTSD, anxiety, depression, uh, heart problems, pulmonary hypertension, chronic pain. <laughs> the whole list. It's super fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about a cave. That seems like the best option, but I also can't. What caused my PTSD? My dad. Uh, so in most cases, most people think PTSD is like war vet style uh, flashbacks and whatever. And it's not. It's it can come in. <sighs> One sec. This thing's weird to be. Let's I bows it. Wait, what? Hi, Bowser. I um, hope it was time to donate to Dio because they are an excellent person whom we all love. Anyway, um, I was gonna say that <laughs> it's Korean. Crowds changed it to Korean the other day. Um, but it's the legacy Korean, so it's kind of bad. <clears throat> Um, so most people think of PTSD, they think of like a war veteran or something like that. And that's not exactly what it is at all. It, it literally means that you had a event in your life that was so traumatic that you potentially like deal with reliving it later in life. One second. Hello. Speaking. God damn it. <laughs> sorry. I... <sighs> sorry. My appointment got canceled because they can't verify my insurance, even though I fucking have insurance. It's fine. It's okay. I'm okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so most people think of PTSD as like war vets and things like that when that's not what it is at all. It literally just means that you went through such a traumatic experience that you have... A reoccurring trauma event based on that experience um so there's that and then I didn't get the sleep I needed I just wanted I just slept in yeah I've, I have water I have coffee too the fuck I'm good sir I I had noodles so I did not have protein I just because if I eat, like, something really heavy in the morning, I tend to throw it up. Um, anyway, basically what I'm getting at here is that I have PTSD from my father and the shit he put me through as a kid. It wasn't, like, emotionally abusive, right? 
or it wasn't like physically abusive it was emotionally abusive and it was mind games that's a whole bunch of stuff like that and so there are a lot of situations that like it'll come back and like there was a situation that happened a couple weeks back that I basically went through it again with my dad like in person and it pretty much shit me into like multiple anxiety attacks and a depression spiral for like a week straight <laughs> it was very fun um so yeah anyway y'all want to draw some shit <laughs> i hate how it didn't actually for some reason save me drawing the fletchling and i don't know why let's draw some shit Um, Eevee. We get to draw Eevee next. Yeah. Man, I love lag. Mm-hmm. And a mini lesson we're gonna draw Eevee. Mm-hmm. Gotta make some curse. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is the best one right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. So, how are we fucking it up, chat? How are we doing? Bob Ross shaved. Okay, Bob Ross naked Eevee, gotcha. How was your morning chat? Do anything lovely? What'd you have for breakfast? Did you have breakfast? And if not, why not? Chocolate chip granola bar. Oh, fuck. I, I think the afro is too big, so let's just, let's maybe, hmm. Hmm, maybe we just make Naked Eevee. Naked Eevee sounds fun. Right? Sphinx Cat Eevee? Nope, it's too late. This is Naked Eevee. Mm 
This is what we're doing, chat. Did you do naked Voltorb? Ha Wait. How do you... How do you do naked Voltorb? Isn't he already naked? Oh man. Kyobi Shoku Mitsui TK. Fancy! <sighs> also, real quick, thank you, Winston, for the 10 straight for the Tam, and Fancy for the tier 1 for 17 hold mutts, putting a finger into Pikachu's fucking mouth. hear about how you evolve a ghost Eevee? It's the new kind of evolution stone. It's called a rock. Yes, with the brick. Or gun. Jesus. Draw the rest of the owl. I can't help you here. Draw the rest of the owl. Just be good at drawing. Use construction shapes and draw the rest of the owl. Let's do this. <sighs> Congrats, Winston. Enjoy. Was the spider before HR7 or the after? I don't remember, legitimately, for some reason. Before, and it was fucking creepy. I really need to fight the spider. I... It's my next urgent quest, and I need to do it, but I'm gonna wait till... Probably tonight? Like, when I'm with friends. There you go. Look at him, Chad. He's perfect. Isn't he just perfect?
It's okay, Chris, I can't either. Perfect. Mm hmm Oh yeah, he's a bright cream color, huh? He'd be more of a pink. Let's go with a light pink. Let's go with like this. Yeah, it feels right. It feels good. Yeah, this is the raw chicken color. And then if I just follow the wrinkles, right? It'll be more effective as an Eevee. See, we remember this. We learned it from the Snivy, right? We learned it that we did a, we did a smart that you're supposed to follow the line of the Snivy or the, the thing you're drawing in order for it to look good. I, I remember that. I remember that thing. Oh, he's so perfect, chat. Look at him. Mm, maybe. I mean, the biggest thing is he is just peeled. He's not exactly, like, dead. He's got mange. That's all. He's fine. He's like Octo's kitty, he's great. Which I'm still really jealous of Octo having that cat. I want a chicken thigh so fucking bad and it makes me sad. Yeah, Joe's got a clip to Doctor's cat. He's so good. Um, no, I don't think I did. Twenty-five bits. 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 What is this monstrosity? WTF? Do you mean it? As killed, I hate all of this. God, why did you? 
allow this to be created idea why? Uh, because I can? And he's just a little sphinx kitty. What's the problem? Also, thank you, consider for the 25 bits. Oh, what the fuck? I want a sphinx cat. Why does everybody else get one? This is not fair. <laughs> What does Sphinx get? Ugh. Chumbus? Oh yeah, no, they're pretty expensive cats. I don't want it to shave Eevee because it's not the same. I want a cat that like enjoys baths and wants to be in sweaters all the time and needs my attention quite often because those cats can be really meaty and... I mean, Evie's extremely needy, I will admit. But, like, she doesn't let me put her in sweaters! <sighs> now that's fair. That makes sense. <laughs> God. I mean, the biggest thing, right? Like, even if... Like, I had a donation drive for a Sphinx cat. I don't know if, like, Max would be okay with us having one in this apartment. And I think our first plan, instead of a cat, another cat, is to get a dog. Like, legitimately. So... I mean, but my biggest thing is, like, I just want to take care of all the tiny animals and large animals and just animals. And, yeah. And, Gwen, you've literally made me think about getting my own chickens instead of, like, just continuing to get my parents' eggs from their chickens. And not even, like, multiple chickens, just, like, maybe, like, one or two chickens. Right? Oh, I'm glad Scoots is good. Oh. Did you know if you shave a cat that's like spotted or striped, you'll actually see like the spots and, or stripes like in their skin? Generally as like a skin pattern. It's interesting. Especially if they're like a black and white kitty or a tortoiseshell kitty. Shave them, they still, their skin will be like those colors. Oh my god, welcome to the peeled farm where I just have everything but it's peeled. Be great. I kind of want to do another randomizer chat, but I don't know which Pokemon game to do it for. I was thinking black and white, because I never finished black and white, right? So maybe like I give it like a real chance or something. I don't know. But I was also thinking sun and moon also thinking Omega Ruby and Sapphire. I 
I'm not just a Pokemon streamer chat, I swear. But also I'm enjoying having a month of Pokemon <laughs> leading up to us playing Nier up until we beat it and then playing Pokemon Snap right after. <laughs> you know. Zero out of ten, too much water. <laughs> Gwen, would you do me a favor and hit X slash poll in the chat? Like backslash and then the word poll and then fill out that saying for like two minutes. Basically saying like Omega Ruby slash Alpha Sapphire, Sun and Moon, Black and White and hit enter. <laughs> or, or maybe like a fourth one being, um, a fourth one, maybe that's just like emerald. And I'll repeat that as you need. Well, I, I did just do a randomizer with like Dan, not a randomizer. Um, a Pokemon run through with Dan of Crystal Clear. So. I think we actually should give him Dark Eyes because I feel like that'll be a good contrast to everything going on. Uh, the options are um, Evie, can you not mute my freaking mic? Um, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire as one option. Sun and Moon is the next one. Black and White is the third one. And Emerald is the last one. Well, I mean a needy cat in the sense of like wanting like to for me to keep them warm and just to sit in my lap. Whereas Evie just like wants pets all the goddamn time. Yeah, we could do that. One sec. And it's also because, you know, chat feeds her that she's kind of, you know, learned to um, expect food from me when I'm streaming, and that's a lot. Yeah, there we go. I like it. Hi, Mithra. You walked in on Pokemon Art Academy right before we have to feed Eevee. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, let's real quick do this. And then let's do. Yeah, I know. Come here. Walk this way. Oh, there we go.
He actually weighs a lot less than he used to, so... Maybe? Uh... So, this one, the big gray one, is Sid. This is Evie. Sid, don't steal her food. She, you were not the one that was fed. Hey! Don't steal her food! Evie! Give me. Well, Give me. Okay, well, she's run off because Sid ran her off. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, you did it through Moobot. Okay, that makes more sense. I was I was curious. <laughs> No, it's not bad. I was just surprised. Um, because you can just do slash pull <laughs> here. Let me. So you can do slash pull in the chat box, which brings up a new poll. Uh, Ruby, so sapphire, uh, emerald. Normal, emerald, black, slash white, sun, slash moon. All right. Wow, thank you, Mithra. That's, thank you. That, I was trying to make a poll, damn it. <laughs> you butt. Jeez. I mean, yeah, but yeah, this one, this one's Sid, the one that ran away was Evie. Sid's a sweetheart, I promise, but he's also a bully. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, okay. Thank you, chat. That's exactly what I needed. I didn't exactly need a real poll. <laughs> After you type this, Omega. <laughs> Ruby is a sapphire. Uh, normal emerald. Emerald. Sun slash moon. Black slash white. I just want y'all's opinion on what you would rather see. A Pokemon yes randomizer. Oh, good. I'm so excited. Oh, well, I'm glad you're back, Nobuku. Okay, we gotta do some shading, I guess. Which have you played at least? So I wanted to, I've played all of those. Um, I just stopped a couple of them in the middle of playing because I was kind of bored with them at the time. And that's fine. I just kind of want to give him a chance and revisit him, right? If I did an all region game, black, white, all right, we can do black, white. How close were the other ones? Not that close, actually. All right, we can do that. Okay, and then we need shading on him. So like this color, probably. Why is there so much lag right now? Game? Are you okay? Game. Are we good? Oh boy. 
right? Yeah, that's exactly what it's having trouble with, Mithra. Okay, hold on. It's just like weirdly running slower than it was yesterday, which is interesting to me. There's no reason for it to be running slower. Great. This is exactly what I wanted. I like don't like any of these peach colors and it's really annoying. Mithra, you can give me as many big hugs as you want. One second. I'm trying to figure out if there's a thing I can use that will make this render a little bit better. Because it's running like slower than it was yesterday, which is weird. Yeah, it's only the opening the color palettes. It's weird. Huh. 
No, I shouldn't. Everything's running like normal. It's just going a little slow. Hmm. Yeah, it's my totally real console, which is why I'm confused. It is not super hot in the room, no. <laughs> what? No. Why would I? Why would I have that? <laughs> <clears throat> It's fine. We'll just run with this. It's fucking annoying, really, more than anything. Anyway, back to Peeled Evie. So. Wait, where, Bowsette where? Bowsette where? What? Bowsette? Oh, the porn is Bowsette. Gotcha. That makes more sense. Listen. It's because I have an entire folder of Bowsette designs. And... Like that does not mean anything. Okay. Listen, there's a lot in that folder, Petra. There's a lot in that folder, and it is in fact on my terabyte hard drive. So, you know. Cascading folders? No! Get out of here! How are you guys liking Nevi so far? Are you from Texas? Can I ask a question about- Okay, yeah, what's up? What's up, Demi? I have no emo to ex express my displeasure. I only have paint. Well, you have, you have all my BTTV emotes too. Like dear biblical, which might help.
My parents aren't keen on traveling over because they heard you don't need to be a citizen to get a shot. I am skeptical. So, okay, first and foremost, I'm assuming your parents aren't citizens. Secondly, I don't know if that's true. Because you need... You generally show them a state ID... You have to be a U.S. citizen to get the COVID-19 vaccine, is what immigrants want to know. Community in North Texas with going concerns. Dallas medical experts, the sooner who all their migrants, both documented and anonymous, are part of the group in the United States. The pandemic doesn't ask where you are from. No, according to the State Department of Health Services spokesman Crispin Van Dusen, we want people living and working in Texas to be vaccinated. It's a moral health conducted near... Vaccine finder to check what about people who were turned away at the Rio Grande Valley eligibility. All adults in Texas, despite their place of residence, can be eligible for the vaccine starting March 29th. Huh. People can get a vaccine at a local hub or if you're going to go to Lord's Vaccine Fair Park in Dallas, uh, do not show up at the hub without first signing up or checking the instructions. Most providers ask for contact information like mailing address, phone number, and email address. I mean, yeah. I, I guess that seems like a really big leap to go there just because, I don't know. That seems like a really big trip just for the vaccine, but also like if you're not a citizen, like I get it. I don't know. I That's entirely up to like your parents and stuff. Apparently it's a thing here, but I don't know. In North Carolina, they didn't even check my ID. The fuck? I had to give them like my full driver's license. <laughs> oh yeah, that's one way to do it, Joe. Ugh, I hate that. I, I guess my thing is there's probably better options than Texas that are probably closer. And it just depends, honestly, Demi. And it would be something to think about looking into in not just Texas, because I believe it, se it seems like the CDC is trying to push that everyone can get the vaccine no matter what. You do not have to be a resident of the United States, right? So... I don't know. Just go from there. Okay, I think we I think we're good, chat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so this is what we're doing. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. We gotta hatch some fur. Absolutely, that's what we're doing, right? And then he wants some, like, here. I just, I really need Barry to start getting his fucking shots. Like, seriously. I'm really sick of him, like, not having his shot. Not like because it's his fault or anything, but like because California is so full and 
people are like jumping the fucking line and Barry's so nice that he's just like, no, I'll wait. Just like, no, just go. <laughs> Try. You were Bath's caretaker and I believe Bath is an at-risk person. So go. <laughs> but I think he feels it's cheating and so like, I get it. Yes. <sighs> yeah, also California has its own variant and shit, and it's just a lot. Max finally got an appointment today for his second shot. And sadly, it is on a Tuesday, so he's gonna have to go to work the next day. But I think he'll be alright. He's pretty resilient with that shit, and the first shot did not hit him too hard. Oh, alright. Mm -hmm. Hello, Moto. Hi, Jesse. Thank you for the raid. What were you guys doing? Welcome to some cursed. Art. <laughs> How are you? And what were you guys streaming? Oh, that's a really cute crab. Oh, it's a really cute crab. Hi Raiders, check out Peeled Eevee. Oh yeah. It's, it's the best thing to introduce Raiders to. Let me tell you all about it. Fancy? Fancy? Thank you for gifting that tier one to Jesse. And also gifting 78 freaking subs in this channel. Don't gotta be that nice, thank you. Hi, welcome to my stream where we have peeled content, which basically means that I take the skin off or and the fur off of things and then my check gets creeped out and it's funny. All right, well. Okay, so then eraser and they want me to do this. Okay. Second, more than anything. Hmm. All right. Anyway. See you both next time. Yeah, a little bit. It. You. Oh no. <laughs> the background is coming through. Oh no. But also, it kind of looks like highlights, so it's not too bad. Huh. You know? I kind of like it because it kind of looks like the background is coming or the the highlights in reflective light. It's on a pile of its shaved fur. Yeah, I was saying that Lee's Eevee kind of looked more like we took the fur off of my Eevee and made another Eevee. 
yeah, it kind of weirdly makes me hate it less. <laughs> and I don't know why. I don't know. It's fine. Oh, there it is. Look at it. It's so lovely. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Oh, there's the leg. Uh, no. Alright, so now we finish this course. Nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We get to learn painterly! Well, yeah. I do like Egyptian cats, but also, like, the... From an artistic perspective, it was, like, not terrible. Uh-huh. Let's do painterly. Oh my god, we'll do that, Zenthros. Uh-huh. I... Why is it... What? Is it like in an egg? Is it an egg? Is it... Is... is hmm. Did you hear the weird and crazy story about Lugia? Pokemon X, I think it was. What? Oh, it wraps itself up its wings, gotcha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, <gasps> paintbrush. I'm gonna Bob Ross this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we are. My youngest has been everywhere. Sir, I actually, I actually don't think I've ever asked what are the ages of your kids, and I feel kind of bad for not knowing that now. <laughs> oh, I don't even like kids, and your kids are cute, sir. <laughs> Oldest 11, then 9, then 7. Gotcha. Alright, we did it. Now what? I just, I just realized that I'm just drawing. Whoops. Uh, uh, what are we doing with this? Hey Arnold Jirachi, done. All right, hey Arnold Jirachi it is. I was just like, I'm just gonna draw. Um, okay. So, hey Arnold Jirachi, here we go. So that's his head, and then we need to take like this, use some of this. Yeah, it's more coast Pokemon. Wait, that's not always hair is it's more like Uh, 
is... Yeah. Alright. Hi, Evie. What's up? And then... He has like a blue hat. I'll make this his hat. Cool, 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 cool. Can I erase? Oh, I can. Hell yeah. Go in and fix some of this then. Nope. Nice. Nice. All right. So there's that. And then I guess we kind of need to do hands anyway. What's the next step? Uh-huh. Cool. Mm, that's not happening. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. I mean, this is already pretty fucking cursed, honestly. Okay. Now what? Uh-huh. Okay. So he needs these things. The hat can stay. The hat's good. Mm-hmm. He needs some ears, though, I realize. Cool, 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 cool. Mm hmm. Yeah, I know what opacity is, motherfucker. I know what opacity is! <sighs> God! All right. Gotta... Number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite about to get down. Do you know who I am? I am an artiste. Um, all right, and then
You don't even fucking go to Doodle Fort. What the fuck, Professor? You sure you want to fuck with me? You sure you want to come after me? The fuck? God. Dumbass professor. Okay. I mean, it's okay, sir. You don't have to. Yeah, I already did that. <sighs> I already did that. I'll add more, I guess. Wow, I already hate this. <laughs> I actually hate this. There's some hat. I Jesus. Oh god, I'm screwing it up. Oh no. I'm ruining it. It, okay. It, mmm. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this anymore. <laughs> All right, that's a little bit better, I guess. Oh yeah, no, it is absolutely gonna be a trip. Ugh, my God, I know. Yeah, I get it. I already did this. Let's give it a face, please. Thank you. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. Mm hmm? Perfect. Mm hmm? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, here's the thing though. Oh my god. <coughs> yes, yeah, sir? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. I actually I actually really like his. Is that 
bad? I really like his. I can feel the. I can feel the. Yeah, the one duck foot's like really good, and I love this face. This face is just me. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a ditto. <laughs> oh. Oh no, Professor's such a dick. Let's uh, say Winston. Uh huh. Put it on a card, motherfucker. <laughs> there he go. There he goes, chat. Off to make some wishes. There he goes. <laughs> oh no. I hate it. I hate it. Oh. I hate it. Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. The cute card. Uh-huh. You know, he's not... entirely wrong when it comes to, like... We're gonna do more painterly stuff. When it comes to, like... talking about, like, the rules, right? Yeah, we can do Lugia. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Hey, Lugia. <gasps> Look at him! Oh! He's so cute. And Nob is cute. And also great. Ah! Mm-hmm. All right, chat. What are we doing? Jet fighter? Oh my god. <sighs> Shadow jet fighter? Human hands jet fighter. Oh god. I think uh, it's a great idea. Oh, hey, Todd. Yeah, you should human do that. Human hands jet fighter? All right, we'll do yeah, human yeah, hands yeah. jet fighter. Human hands jet fighter. Mm hmm. How are you, Todd? I'm all right. You good. It's nine o'clock. Been awake for half an hour. <laughs> that you've made a penis very quickly. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I don't believe you. I didn't mean to. I don't believe you. What do you want me to do? <sighs> <laughs> okay. Step one when you're drawing a human hands jet fighter, you you make a penis. Yes, you make a you, penis. You gotta make a penis first, or else no one's gonna believe you that it's a, that it's a, that it's a ship. It's gotta be a penis. Mm -hmm. Um, no, it looks great so far. <laughs> it looks really Thank good. You. Who the fuck is this? Is this Lugia? Yep. Lugals? Big Lugs? Yeah. The big Lugs. Big Lugs. Lugia should be taught. Okay, sure, I'm fine with that. My, um, you're gonna, the then problem then... though is that flying at that speed, my hairline's gonna be really exposed and it's, it's gonna be a little embarrassing. I mean, do okay. you, you know, like a, that's okay. That's okay. I'm, like 30, a... I'm 30. It's fine. That's fine. I lost. I rolled bad. It's fine. If I really am that, you know, that sensitive about it, I'll just buy some hair from the hair store. <laughs> buy some hair from the hair store. They do okay. that now. Do you, do you put some hair from some other part uh -huh. of your body right there and then suddenly you're 20 again. Everybody believes it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I totally believe it. Yeah. I rolled bad, Todd. Rip. Rip our hair. Two cans. It's okay. I think Max might have also rolled bad, but we'll get... He's 
developing. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> developing. <sighs> I was, I was, you know, I was like, I was thinking about it. I was looking at the, was looking at the all the little, you know, little things. You go to the hairdresser and you're like, oh yeah, I'm a hairline. They're like, well, mm -hmm. you know, they do have some things for that. And you know, they're trying to be very. It's very much one of those like, it's like they're trying to sell you erectile dysfunction pills. It's like, no, yeah, my dick works. My hair is just going. Uh, <laughs> but like, <laughs> it's like the same level of sensitivity because you know, it was like, oh my hair, I feel, I feel unattractive now. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, man, it's really expensive to try to keep your hair on your head. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so it's actually. Like, Fuck that, dude. I'll just go bald. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm going bald, but, you know, I just, like, I have my dad's hairline, and my dad's white. And so he looks <laughs> fine. Like, he, he, dude's, like, 66 or something. He looks pretty mm -hmm. good. Um, he's got a little bit of Long Beach skin, so, you know, but it's not, you know, it's, he takes good, decent care of it. Uh, yeah. But his hairline, you know, went back, but it's fine because the way his hair comes down. My hair doesn't do that. It goes up straight out, curly S curls straight into the air. So I don't really get to hide hide it as well. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, ah, ah, you know, it's a little, bum, a little bit of a bummer. But you, you generally rock like semi-afro, right? Sort of. Uh, back when I was doing YouTube, I, I grew out my hair quite a bit right before i quit um and then i had it long really long like very very long like two years of hair for um mm -hmm. uh for well from there on another maybe six months uh and then it was hot and um i don't know i just i don't know why i was getting i guess i was getting frustrated this was like like a couple of months into dating my my current girlfriend and uh i think i was worried that it like didn't like it like it didn't look good or something like that and she, which she never alluded to and she's really somebody who would just tell you the truth all the time yeah. um but i was i don't know i was like just self-conscious because i was like oh man like she's really great and you know i want to have maybe a cleaner look or something so man these human hands look really good um yeah so i i cut it off and it was really she was well not she but the situation was hilarious because i was i was literally meeting her roommate and best friend of like at the time like 21 years yeah uh, and i just cut my hair that day and so she was like <laughs> she was like you never get to see uh his his giant hair which was i thought was very funny oh i i mean do you i'm blowing like... it back out right now gotcha. even though i it's good i now i have i have less of a hairline than i did then it's like well why didn't you just keep the hair you ding dong but I was gonna say, do, do you have like a widow's peak or like what? No, it's all it, the, the. It's just receding. I would, I, I would say, I would say the front of it all took a a, a solid um, cha cha slide two steps back this time, <laughs> two steps, two steps, and then and then everything to the side of the front took another maybe like another two steps. So mm -hmm. you know, I've got the like like it's going back and then there's like the little corners and then it comes back around towards the front in like a nice little dome kind of shape yeah it's not a widow's peak it's no it's much rounder it's, i was gonna say it's just like the exact opposite but from what it sounds like yeah well not well not quite the exact opposite or i'd be just a triangle <laughs> going the other way which is hilarious mm -hmm. Uh, I'll I'll take Magus from Chrono Trigger. Cause you mad? Look, yeah. And you know, you know, how people. Um, there's like I forget I forget what it is. Like your character is black or something like that. Like people have the um, twit like the hashtag on Twitter where they'll redraw like anime and video game characters yes. as being black. Yeah. So, now I want to see that for for Mag Magus Magus Magus. I, I would love that. I think he'd look great. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't. No, my hair doesn't. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm. I don't have a Vegeta hairline. Do you want one? A widow's. A widow's suburb. <laughs> I feel like that would mean I had a little cul-de-sacs along my hairline where it's going in and out and in and out. I do it just like I, w I would look like Balrog from fucking Street Fighter. <laughs> A I, widow's I don't know if that's a that's a bad that's thing. Funny. Honestly, widow widow's suburb widow's suburb is sounds like a really great uh, show on the, the CW. I would yeah that could that could probably go a solid six seven seasons. Just like a bunch I mean, of widows who like you know just unfortunately their husbands or 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 wives died 
and you know they're just trying to live life again you know what i mean i think that'd be i i watch that i'd watch that show yeah yeah unless it was yeah. like a conservative kind of bent then i don't want to watch it but like a fun loose you know let these like i say let, i say women i don't know why that's see that's weird i don't know why i assume that but you know the people because, who live there with so their dead their it's dead because, spouses. I was gonna say it's the trope that it's a grieving widow because it's always yeah. it's generally the woman. Yeah, I guess. So, oh, right, because yeah, because it's a war thing. So that's yeah, your, right. That makes sense. Either way, so, the show doesn't have to be that way. The show can be whatever. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. You're on the show. You got a dead spouse. You're in. Great. It's not yeah. a reality show. I don't know why I'm talking about it like it is one. <laughs> It could be. Me to go no, dude, you can, dude, you know it's fucked up? You can be widow or like 21, man, it's fucked up. Yep. But you can. People die. It's messed up. Max almost was, to be fair. It's true. Deer almost heart exploded. It's true. But but she didn't. And here she is, eefing and hoofing mm -hmm. for you today, drawing a sure. goddamn human hands jet fighter and <laughs> instead of a yeah. Lugia. Is there gonna it be is a Lugia? Lugia? Is there still gonna be a Lugia evident in the in the piece? Yeah, the like art? it's got it's got back legs, for example, mm -hmm. and it's sure. got that like point on on its head, like this point. Oh yeah, the, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I'm I'm trying to right, include right. some of it. I like it. Don't they have a jet fighter Pokemon? Uh, yes, multiple. Yeah, there's like three, right? There's like steel thing. The steel There's one? Sal I know of Salamance is just a jet fighter. Latios, Salamance. And La Latios and Latios are just jet fighters too. Yeah, and then there's um there's your favorite or Max's Dragapult. Uh yeah, then, technically. Who's the steel thing? Steel uh, flying steel thing. Don't remember. Somebody does. One of you fuckers does. Skarmory, Mars Raccoon. I'm gonna give Mars. Yeah. I'm gonna give Mars Raccoon a sub. There you go. <laughs> How do I do that? If the sub, you click on their name. Uh, oh wait. How do I? Where do I? I want to pick the person. I want to pick the you, person. You, click on their okay. Name. You go into chat and you oh, click there on it their is. name. Give the sub. Or you can do it that sub. way. You get one month. God, don't be greedy, Mars. Jesus. I was get gonna say month. you could all. You could also just <laughs> go in and click on their name in chat and then give the I sub see, that yeah, way. I, yeah, I figured it out. I figured it out. Uh huh. This is not going to be a recurring thing. I just am in a good mood. <laughs> don't, well, I'm glad don't be, you're in a good mood. We're not playing. We're not playing. Family Feud gets you a sub. I. Do you want to play Monster Hunter with me tonight? I. I'm so excited for uh, finally maybe, having I, a night off. I. I know. I. Uh, uh. I think we had it. I was. I might have already kind of signed up to do something. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I want to. The answer is I want to, but I don't know if I'm actually going to be around. Yeah. Uh, if I am, then yes, I absolutely want to play Monster Hunter. Mm -hmm. Especially because like my computer will be busy uh, rendering. <laughs> I mean, that's a fair reason to be pl wanting to play. Yep. So I will, can't do anything else. Also, thank you, Todd, for the sub. Yeah. Oh, I guess you get something out of that. Yes. <laughs> That's how that works. Yeah, see, it's still kind of Lugia-esque. Yeah, it's got a blue eyebrow. Hmm? That's all it takes. I mean, I was going to try to give it, like, these things blue as well. Yeah, the little back spines. Mm hmm As well as, like, spines? the tail fins. They're... They're, they like retract and stuff mm -hmm. so that they can fly and like they detract or retract whenever you go under the water in mm. the movie. I don't know. It's something. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like it'd be really fun to do like a like a Pokemon like petting museum. Where mm -hmm. like like a, like as an official installation somewhere, not in New York, because everything's in New York, you know. Nintendo does everything there, those assholes. Yeah. Uh, but you know, somewhere it'd be cool. Like you could, if they would pick a bunch of Pokemon and like make like here's what their various parts like would would feel like. Like are they fuzzy? You know, is it wet? Are they spongy? Is it hard? You know, 
yeah. think that'd be fun. They could they could do it in Kansas. I'm sure Kansas is is much in need of tourism money. You want to pet a whooper? What do you think a whooper feels like? Do you think it's like leathery? Do you think it's um, smooth? Do you think, do you think does it probably, feel like a butt? I feel like it'd be like rubbery. Rubbery? There, it's mm -hmm. a water Pokemon, right? Yeah. Is it just water? Is it? It's water, water, water ground. Water ground. I believe oh, so. Oh right, because it, it's like a, it's like a, like Quagsire is like a lump fish thing, right? Yes. Hmm. Or smooth. smooth like a dolphin. I could see that. It could be smooth like a dolphin. Sure. Yeah. I think I think that's I think that's the right. I feel it might, but okay. You, you know what it is. I think the Whooper would be smooth, but I feel like a Quagsire would be more, uh, a little bit more rugged. You know, it would have like yeah. some some texture to the skin and like maybe some give, but some, but it would be like you know, it would have it would have. Uh, uh, I think it'd have more body. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like water Pokemon, yeah, yeah. I think the but see that's the thing, Ludlime. I think that's what that's why I think it'd be interesting, is I think that they could play with those expectations because outside of Dex entries, which I don't even know if this ever comes up, you know, what, what, it doesn't matter what a Pokemon feels like. It's not relevant. Mm -hmm. Like you don't get hit by Iron Tail, and it's like, ooh, this, that was a fuzzy Iron Tail. What what a strange sensation. So. <laughs> I think that could be. I think it could be fun. I don't know. I, I don't know that it actually promotes anything, but it is a fun thing to do, right? Yeah. Does Nintendo still have fun anymore? I guess they did just make a giant theme park. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say they did just make a theme park. <laughs> They're having at least a little bit of fun. Yeah. Knockdown is 150 pounds. Oh right, it's like huge. Yep. Dude, Knockdown is sick. I feel like you would have a hard time being an owl though. Yeah, probably. <laughs> like, it's like, it's that, like if an I feel owl like was a Totoro. <laughs> it's too big, dude. Yeah. I'm supposed to hunt. <laughs> I feel like being hit with a wire brush. Oh, I hate that. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Time to do more shading. Now, now, now in my head, I'm just thinking of like a Pokemon forensic show. It's like, oh my God. this person was clearly hit by nine, by an iron tail, but look at these abrasion marks. You see that? That indicates that it's a, a short haired fur Pokemon. That rules out, you know, P a Pikachu. You know what I mean? Like, I think that'd be fucking mm -hmm. sick. I would watch that. You know, Maybe I, I would should watch just that write too. that. That'd be fun. It'd be a fun skit series. You know I, don't what? A, I don't have a budget for CG Pokemon though, dear. Well, yeah, but it doesn't have to be CG. You could just draw it. Oh, that does sound like a pro ZD skit. Well, then why should I bother? You already did it. It's better than anything I'm going to come up with. The fuck? What does it matter? He's so what? funny, dude. He's he's nuts, man. He's nuts. He makes like he makes such great jokes in tiny little little form factors. I normally don't even like that kind of shit. He's so funny. Mm -hmm. Being able to voice act helps. Oh, yeah. You know, I think I actually have seen this. Maybe I've seen this already. Maybe, maybe, or maybe he just does the detective voice a lot. I think he just does the detective voice a lot. Yep. <laughs> maybe a Venusaur. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's funny. Funny dude. Your Bart's card dropped. Is there a collectible card game with Simpsons characters? They do have, don't they? Don't they actually have that as like a gotcha? Isn't that a gotcha uh, I think Fox so. animation game? I mean, I think there's a gotcha for everything at this point. Yeah, it sure is, man. Chad, how are we feeling about this uh, jet plane? <laughs> you got a pot belly jet plane. Hmm. I just feel like this should just be one of Lugia's forms. A little bit, yeah. I'd like it's to formally forgive you for cheating in Barry's stream of civilization over five years ago. Wow. <laughs> That's fair. I think it was Civ 4. Or no, it you was You cheated? Civ 5. Wait, you cheated? I. <laughs> Wow. I was, I was being a piece of shit and 
um, Gam left the game by accident, and so I was like, oh, fuck. So I went over, and I talked to his AI, and I was like, hey, you want to start an embassy? And he said yes. And then suddenly, like, I knew where their town was or whatever. Not that I was going to do anything about it. <laughs> but I forgot to save beforehand, like, oh. to, to reset it. And oh. so that's why it was a big thing. <laughs> Wow. Ooh, Jeez. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I am legitimately that type of person, though. That's the thing. I know. I know. Like, You're if you always don't... <laughs> trying to flaunt every edge you can. Yeah, no, because I've, I've always grown up not having any, so it's like anything I get, I'm going to use. Mm -mm -mm. So... Wow, I retroactively can't forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mar but Mar Mars Raccoon is moving on. So maybe, mm -hmm. may maybe follow. Slight win. Slight, a tiny win. Yeah. yeah. I love that Lou Lime now has two incarcerated people emotes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, I think. Well, our if I ever catch you good. cheating in something we do, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. No, 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 no. If it was literally only because I thought it would be funny, that's all. I, and I'm it was like, on stream I'm, I'm like, in games with friends. Like, no, I don't. It's not fair. I'm like, I'm like a hundred percent like only child rules. I'm like, look, nobody cheats. Everybody, I will, I will give you all the tips you want because I've played this game more. But if you fucking take advantage no, of me and cheat, right? you are not getting a snack. Mm -hmm. There will be no snacks handed out tonight in my house. You fuck. No, that's absolutely fair, and I, it, <laughs> I agree, Mars. Also, uh, Lee did a fantastic job making a dick. Who's Lee? Oh, that's Lee. That's Lee, compared to It does look like it. Yep, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's pretty it's pretty dickish. Yeah. That's yeah, the, I feel like I feel like that's a <laughs> you know what, never mind. I'm gonna not finish that sentence. But you know it's what, fine. Lee, you you tried. I like the pointy eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Who is friend? Hell I'm yeah. Todd. Yeah. Is me, Todd. <laughs> I've been here a couple times. I'm the only person who, who who seems to wake up at <laughs> much of a time My though I come in here. Yeah, I mean I, yeah. I'm not even waking up late or early. I'm waking up at eight to nine. It's not like that's early. I actually even woke up late today, and so. Ooh. This fucking Lugia jet plane ocean thing is great. Oh yeah, it looks good. I don't. Yeah. I feel like the logistics of the plane's flight path are a little confused but it's fine you know, i mean it can it's a swim plane so that's mm -hmm. nice it's a submarine swim plane submarine swim plane yeah i love it and you know what the, <sighs> the part that i really like is that the lighting is consistent with yeah. the background which you didn't yeah. even know look at that it almost looks it almost looks like it belongs mm-hmm Oh, really good. Nothing. All right. Yeah, you stretching? Yeah, a little bit. Stretch it out. I am. Stretch it. Yum. <laughs> <sighs> nice big stretch. You've been playing for a while. No, I haven't. <laughs> All right, Chandelure. Hell yeah, let's go. Ooh, I love Chandelure. I do too. Definitely mm -hmm. one of those. That's, that's the thing I love about Pokemon, right? People would be like, uh, "That Pokemon is just a garbage," and it's like, "Yeah, yeah. there's so many Pokemon that are just a thing. Like Chandelure mm -hmm. is just a chandelier, but really fucking cool." Clef Key is literally just a fairy that collects keys and looks like yeah. a key ring. Yeah. Voltorb is just a Pokeball. It's just a. What orb. do you want? Yeah, leave it alone. No, nah, it's okay. I, think... I mean, look, you're allowed to. You're not. Allowed, you're allowed to not mm -hmm. resonate with overly simplistic concepts. I. I it's fine. I, think, I respect it. I think that's maybe why me and Dan clash about Tauros, actually. Because huh. Tauros is just a three-tailed bull. Yeah, he's just a bull, and he's got like a bull whip tail. Uh, 
and I think yeah. he's sick. But like Dan's just like he's just a cow, and I'm like, uh huh. And mm. Ponyta is just a horse. Yeah. What do you want? I, I I get that though. I don't know. I think I I I would go so far as to say that Pokemon requires a certain amount of Pokemon that are just a thing because yes. it grounds the rest of them that are ridiculous creations. Like like <laughs> Bulbasaur is like a frog dinosaur and He's like a frog you look at Bulbasaur with a plant and, on him. Right, and like you look at Bulbasaur, and you're like, this this design makes sense. I get it. It's mm -hmm. I totally understand what this is. I get it, but it's not a thing that exists already. Yeah, and I think like having stuff that already exists, like like looking at like a Charmander, as oh, it's a standing you know gecko lizard. or whatever lizard. Yeah. Uh, I think that helps be like okay, well I get that these are all supposed to be in some sense creatures defined by a like nature paradigm it's like oh these are all supposed to make some kind of sense um not the most sense what? but some kind of sense oh no that does not break tos one second Seven. um menorah oh hmm. we can maybe make a menorah anything else we might just make just a menorah that's the funny thing about gen one is like one of the pokemon that i loved or two of the pokemon that i loved were uh magmar and electabuzz because they didn't i didn't know what they were it's like what yeah. the fuck is this it's like a weird like a little monster guy i don't know like a cat cat golem and then magmar mm -hmm. was like a i don't even know just sort of a lump fire lump walking fire lump he's like a duck he's got like a beakish of... kind of snout tube mm -hmm. face tube and then we got Magby, and Magby is lovely. Okay. Mm he's, he's got nice little head lumps. I mean, I just don't like those lines, period. I never liked them as a kid. So... Which ones? The lumps? Well, Magby, Magmar, and Electrobuzz sort of thing. Like, I never oh, really so you enjoyed didn't like, them. You didn't like the ones that I liked, so we would, we would have fought on the playground. Probably. We would have thrown down. Yeah. Yeah. You would have sweep the leg and I would have gone down and I would have been embarrassed mm -hmm. But we but and I, then I apparently would have cheated at Civ and then everyone would have shunned me <laughs> <laughs> So it's fine uh, You know, what I don't like is whatever they is the mag mortar. I don't like mag mortar It's too much It looks like a, it looks like somebody it looks like dad went too hard trying to make a fiery easter egg put legs on yeah, it a couple bit. of like cut up straws for hands i don't like it they try too hard i i just yeah a lot of the human based ones i don't really like like at all like conkleder and them and girder uh, throw sock i just don't think i like the human pokemon I don't like throw in sock that much. I do like girder. I don't I think it's I think they're just dumb dumb enough that I like them. That's fair. I don't know that they're I don't know that they're good, <laughs> but I like but they make me laugh. So they make me I don't know. I just feel like yeah, yeah they're fine. They're OK. I don't know how to spell their fucking names, though. That's for sure. G-U-D-U-R-R. Girder. Blech. I thought that they were new when I was playing Sword and Shield. It's like, oh, I've never seen this before. I just oh. have skipped several Pokemon games. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm apparently going to be doing a black and white randomizer soon. So. Oh, fun. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. There is a large airplane going over my house right now. That's OK. And now it's dead. Ooh, inline skates. Hello. Big what? fan. Little little birdie is getting inline skates and they are oh. gonna skate on Monday. Hell yeah. I wish I had an area near me that I could skate. Word. I do you guys not have sidewalks? Nope. Yeah. That sucks. Area where I live is like 
very like I live on a, uh, basically on like a giant hill, so it's just like a death skate. Although oh, there God. is a place that I should be going to skate at, I just haven't actually gone and gone and done it. Oh, you've never inline skated before? Well, uh, have you ever ice skated? Fall on grass or grab trees. Mm -hmm. And I, I haven't ice skated in so long. I miss ice skating. It was so fun. Ice skating is one of the, that's the thing with like with like <laughs> rollerblading and ice skating is like one of the few things where I could like what I learned I did it for so long as a kid that like as an adult I can like show off <laughs> and I'm like hey, hey yeah I'm cool <laughs> like you be you be good at video games nobody gives a shit but you mm -hmm. you do some fucking like cool shit on ice skates people are like oh while they're falling Whoa. over their buckets and shit and they're like oh look at him mm -hmm. like yeah yeah that's right except my back is fucked up now so now doing that stuff hurts my back oh no well, it's actually not my back. I got that anterior pelvic tilt from sitting in a chair for too long. Fun. Yep. Yeah, stretch out your pelvis. For, I can't wait for my shit to get all fucked up from sitting so long. Not that it well, already isn't, but... Stretch out your pelvis. Mm -hmm. you, you can look it up. There's like ways to test if you already have it. Uh, The answer is probably. <laughs> Probably, probably could, yeah, it's very potentially. What region is Chandelure Menorah from, do you think, chat? Unova. Which one is Unova? Uh, isn't that New York? New Yova. I feel like you know this New York. Gen 5, black and white, yeah. Yeah, it would be from New York, wouldn't it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> To add an Antarctica region, that would really limit the scope of the Pokemon. Uh, I'm fine with it. I love ice Pokemon, but it's gonna well, be a lot I of mean, ice and tundra Pokemon. <laughs> no, actually, I was gonna say because you could just set it in spring and put it. Wait, which one's up north? Uh, I believe. Uh, I believe the Arctic is the north. The Arctic. Okay, so like set it in the Arctic. And by Arctic, I mean like both the Arctic and parts of Canada and Greenland sort of thing. Mm. So you have like volcanoes, you have the Arctic, you have like Canada's huge forests and mountains and stuff mm -hmm. at work. Okay. But that's not Antarctica, which is what the person said. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can I say as as a kid little baby deer fact can we do you want to hear uh, I'm still, I'm so still good. deriding you for completely ignoring what they say nope I'm it's like, fine <laughs> let's do it in Antarctica oh yeah it'd be most it'd be like all ice though oh no it wouldn't what if it was actually somewhere else <laughs> yeah what if it was just entirely somewhere else? <laughs> okay, baby deer fact time, I'm done. Um, I thought, as a kid, I thought it was the Antarctic, like Antarctica, and Arctica. Mm. I think that's com I think that's common. I, I can't remember <laughs> if I thought that way, but I don't think I got those right all the time. Yeah. So I, I think that's perfectly, that, that's a, that's a total like kid thing to run into. Mm -hmm. Because it's like it's also like it's also like it's like this is so irrelevant to children. Yeah. Like ninety nine percent of children just don't need to, to completely. Like, who gives a shit? They just sound like they honestly sound like mystical Iceland like locations. Oh, yeah. Like they're just like wow, it's Absolutely. so cold there. 
I mean, that's the thing. Like, like I think even like your facts about the Arctic region are things where you're like, oh, I didn't realize that the Arctic is actually, you know, blah blah blah. It's always like it's a, it's more multifaceted than an art an Antarctica, which is much more mm -hmm. a giant ice slab. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Here, this is where this is where San is. Is all we need to know. Yeah. So I was very much so team. Arctica and the world's largest desert. <laughs> Gam legitimately called me out for it when I like brought it back up for something. I forget what it was. I think I was talking during the podcast or something, and I said Arctica, and he was like, "Excuse me, what?" And I was just like, "Fuck!" Your demons <laughs> reared their ugly heads. Mm-hmm. It's okay, dear. I'm done making fun of you. So I, next time it happens, oh, I'm gonna make fun of you. I'll be like, "Yeah, we talked about this." Mm -hmm. Just gonna be like, hey, you're better, like, you're better than this, dear. Come on. <laughs> you're better than this. You're better than this. <sighs> I mean, maybe. Who, who I thought might Alaska be. I'm was an sure. island because of maps? I never thought that, but I know people who thought that. Yeah, that they thought that. I I heard a story. I don't remember who it was, but someone talked about how their friend thought it was an island with a fence around it. An island because, with a fence around. it? Because it would be the square, like off to the left of the United States. So they thought it just like was an island with like a box oh. around it. Oh oh oh! Like the little <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking funny. This <laughs> good island with an island, uh, island with a fence around it. Very, mm -hmm. very uh, villain, villain tier. Mm -hmm. This is monster. Go to Hawaii prison. Uh, I mean, I also thought that, Alaska? like, I legitimately Cold thought that Hawaii was like right off the coast of California for a while. As a kid. The only reason I didn't think that is because I'm from California. I totally get people thinking that. Yeah. <sighs> the long, the long, the long, uh, it's a long flight to Hawaii, man. It's not close. Mm hmm. We can't let the Alaskans leave. They're in danger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I see some, uh, I see some Alaskans up here. Every once in a while. I actually do too, weirdly. <laughs> in Texas? Yeah. I actually I guess they're see tired of being cold. <laughs> the the license plate pretty frequently and I'm just like, huh. That's bonkers. <laughs> we visited California, we took a boat to Catalina Island, and my little sister thought it was Hawaii. That's amazing. That's amazing. <sighs> That's hilarious. It must have been. I mean, Catalina Island's not bad, but it's 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 not Hawaii. It's not no. that nice. Deuce five. That's fair. Look, good on her for knowing what Hawaii is. Just gonna make the Chandelure happy because I want to. Oh look, see, Penguin left Alaska. I love that. I love that you you've identified yourself as raving penguin and you're from Alaska. I love that. I think mm -hmm. that's great. That makes me feel good. I remember wanting to swim to Hawaii when I was little. Oh Damn my dude, you would have had the biggest fucking deltoids of all time. What was the biggest lie you ever told as a kid to get recognition? Uh, my friend and I, uh, we like, I, it's, it's one of my favorite things about children is that they will blatantly lie to each other mm -hmm. in the same way. Yeah. And so they'll know, they'll be like, it's extremely likely that, that they're lying because I'm lying that same lie, but there's a mm -hmm. chance that they're not lying because we both, you know, it's like, well, wait a minute, but we're but both would saying they be, this thing so that maybe right, would they dare to say the same thing or is it an actual mm -hmm. truth? My friend, I, I the only this is the only, first thing that comes to mind. I don't know. I'm sure I've lied incredible things as a child. Uh, I had a very strong imagination. My friend and I were going through we were at daycare. I must have been seven. Maybe. 
at seven daycare? Or eight, maybe. Yeah. Well, it was my parents' work, so we st the okay. school had a after school care. That so makes more we, sense. Gotcha. We were in I forgot what the fuck we called it, but it was uh, you know, after after school care. Let's call it that. Um yeah. they had magazines. Uh and they were like <laughs> they were no no, we no, we couldn't have been. Oh, maybe we were like ten. In any case, we <laughs> We were both lied to each other that we that we like were <laughs> we were like dating these teenage what? celebrities in these magazines. <laughs> like, oh yeah, this is my girlfriend. <laughs> we, we just were like, yeah, the, her name's Melissa. <laughs> uh -huh. I met her. I met her at the beach. <laughs> We beach. just both like pick random pages in two different magazines and lied to each other for no reason, <laughs> and it never came back up. It never came up. It got nothing out of it. It just was like, I remember oh. at the time. I remember at the time doing it and being like, "What the fuck am I? What am I doing? Uh -huh. What am I doing? Oh, Lee's looks great. I love it. Yeah. This this looks like actual art. I love that." Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it was, um, it's real. I haven't thought about that in years. Oh, I haven't thought about that in so long. That's a oh great question. God. Oh, it's so I... funny. I, I, I remember, I remember her too. You know why I remember? I don't know who the fuck it was, but I remember because mm -hmm. oh, I had, shit. I had like a little, like, I had like a little, like, kindergarten crush when I was a kindergartner uh -huh. on this girl, and the, the, the celebrity lady lady girl looked like her mm -hmm. like had the same like hair that's yeah. why I, I think that's so, why i was like oh yeah yeah this is my girlfriend uh-huh it's fucking fucking ridiculous oh my god my friend as a kid swore to his mom that he counted to infinity <laughs> one night he got into a huge Last argument night. with her about it and eventually got grounded for a week he still <laughs> never denied that he counted to infinity <laughs> Dude, kids, kids, kids want to, like, they, they want to control, I mean, everybody, all humans want to control a space in their life. And this yeah. kid was like, fuck you. You can't tell me I didn't count to infinity inside my brain, bitch. I mean, mom, he's in accounting. Damn, dude. Oh, my Look, God. He can count. He can count my bank account to infinity as long as he'll put the money yeah. in it. I think, okay, so I think my biggest ones were I always told the teachers, right? Because I wanted the teachers to like me, not the kids. I don't know why. Sure. Um, I can think of three off the top of my head. What, and good. this is ridiculous because the teachers like met my parents, right? They knew exactly like what kind of life they lived, whatever. Um, <laughs> Very dramatic. I, I told them once that I owned three Great Danes, which I rode around my house. Love it. Like a horse. Love it. Because, yeah, there was that. Um, the second one was that we grew multiple kinds of fruit trees outside of our house, chopped them down for Christmas, and would, like, dip the fruit in chocolate to eat them on Christmas. <laughs> grew the trees every year. We just grew a tree. And... We just grew a tree like within a year to do this <laughs> every time. Full maturity. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And the third one, I believe, was that for a holiday that we were going to take a trip somewhere, but we had a layover. So we were going like three different places. We were going to France. Uh -huh. For like one day, that was it. <laughs> and we, because we had a layover and we were gonna go see the city for a while, then get back on our plane and go. Uh -huh. And then we were gonna go somewhere else. No, this was like Paris, right? Mm -hmm. And we were gonna go somewhere else, do the same thing, and then go to our destination for a holiday. Wh and we wow. had enough money to do this. And I was just like, uh huh. <laughs> Sure. And Man. I just was like bold straight face lying to this fucking <laughs> this teacher. Fucking adult human who is like, sorry, but this is all completely fucking impossible. Sorry. Yeah. No. And they they like literally knew my parents. They knew we were like a low income family and everything. And uh, I was just like, yeah, no, like that's what we're doing. In a parent teacher conference is like, well, your child is having delusions of grandeur <laughs> and we're concerned about the living situation at home. Mm -hmm. Uh, damn. 
That's, I mean, look, that's fucking real, though. That's fucking real, though. Uh, I get it. I get it. I totally get that. <gasps> Man, kids are, kids are, I saw, that's the thing about, that's the, that's the fucking thing that it's, it's always gets me about kids. It's like, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing that you can do to substitute life experience. Mm-hmm. You just can't do it. Like you, like if you're a kid, a whole day, a whole fucking day in like Paris, sounds oh like God. it's like that's insane. The whole yeah. day, the whole day. We're gonna spend the whole day there. It's crazy. Oh yeah. But like as an adult, you're like that's enough to like eat at two places, and that's it. It's like that's nothing. Oh, yeah. I need to. You gotta be there for like a, a week at least. You know what I mean? Like that's what people. Well, like I guess for me, the, like the, the, the time distortion is just massive. Mm hmm. I, I guess for me, like thinking about it, like you could still kind of do that, right? You could like oh, have yeah. a layover in France. Your itinerary but you was would... not impossible. <laughs> it was not. It was just ridiculous. <laughs> it was it was it was it was expensive. It was basically you were. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's kind of that's kind of true that you take in like a Winnebago. Mm -hmm. But obviously you would have had to have started in France to begin with. Or yeah. at least in Europe. Yeah, as I say, at least in Europe. Exactly. Okay. Children, have... children versus adults experience time differently. Hundred, hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. We have our our apprentice finale, our final exam chat. Ooh. Hell yeah, our painterly final exam. This is an off-model Pikachu. It is. You can't tell if it's the old Pikachu or the new Pikachu. <laughs> I mean, I'm into it. Mm -hmm. I'm down. I, I think it'd be cool if Pokemon had a little bit of procedural generation and they kind of kind of adjusted mm -hmm. forms. But uh, I also understand why they aren't going to bother. Oh, that's a really cute Pikachu. It is kind of off model, though. You're right. Huh? Yeah, it's all definitely. Huh? That's surprising. I notice things about art. Okay. So, chat, what are we doing? Take it away, chat. What are we doing? Pikachu, but flossing? That would literally just be moving this arm and this arm, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. Pikachu, but it's deer? Oh god. Oh god. Pikachu, but Raichu colors. Pop hat and monocle. I kind of like just drawing... Oh god. Pikachu. <laughs> I'm sorry, my idea was good. Toucans, you're fine. What was Toucan's idea? Pikachu, but flossing. Yeah. Flossing, yeah. It's okay, you I was gonna say, what if I just draw yeah. Raichu <laughs> instead? You just want to draw Raichu. Yeah, the better <laughs> Pokemon. I guess that's meta funny, but I don't know that it's gonna be, I mean, I don't know, I don't know that it'll, it'll, when you're done, you'll just have drawn a Raichu. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm kind of realizing that. I think, I, um, I think you just want to draw Raichu. What if, I mean, that's true. What if I recreate Pikachu to be a better version of itself? Yeah, dude, sure. Put that in. Oh, you're opening yourself up for judgment and I love it. Uh-huh. Because yeah, I hate yeah, Pikachu. Do it. Do it, yeah, 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 yeah. Quit, quit bitching about the mascot <laughs> and put your hand art where your mouth is. Uh huh. Do it. All right. Well, I'm trying to, I'm trying to look up Pikachu references and stuff. Hold on. Oh God, the Sonic movie. Why does the Sonic movie in here? God damn it, Google. What are you doing? All right. Mm, okay. So what if, all right, eat your rich, eat the rich, eat your art. Uh. Hmm. Original Sonic movie, Sonic Bob, it's your Pikachu. <laughs> original Sonic movie, but it's Pikachu. I'm good. Thank you for the 24 bits, Raving. Also, Mimic, thank you for the 25. 
25 bits, 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 have you no. already created? No, okay, so you haven't. You haven't. You don't have a Pikachu that you've already read. You're like, this is this is Deer's Pikachu. You haven't done that yet. I have not done that. Okay, so this is okay. I just wanted. To, I was just wondering if you were pulling from uh, a specific place, or if you were, if you're, you're kind of, you're, you're just like, okay, here, what do I want to see? What do I want in this design? All right, I just want to know. I want to. I don't want to. That's no, okay. That makes sense to ask. You're fine. Um, because I would like it to be more Raichu eat actually. Sure. Raichu's sure. just let me, far more. Let me just look up Raichu because let me tell you, if there's a Pokemon that um is often completely ignored, it is Raichu. Mm -hmm. Raichu is Raichu did not win the popularity uh Grand Prix. Yeah, it's it's kind of sad. Also, honestly. I don't like I don't like Alolan Raichu. I think it looks bad. What? Yeah, I don't He's like it. He's a pancake it. boy. I like. I would rather have a pancake Pokemon. I think that'd be more fun. He's so good, though. <laughs> I just don't like him, but I, that's fine. I mean, he's, he's. I don't think he's bad. I just don't like him. I like regular that's Raichu fair. more. That's fair. I Honestly. think. I think in general, I don't like saccharin Pokemon designs. I don't like if they're like super cute. I don't like them. Like, who, okay, who, we that try, you're trying makes to, sense. You're trying to you're trying to get me to be all like like yeah, he's super cute, huh? Fuck you, huh? Don't, how dare you? That's how I get. <laughs> like, what's the thing? The little the Pokemon that's a cake? I'm like, no, thank you. Uh, fuck, I know exactly what you're talking about, but I can't think about cake it. Cakemon. Yeasty. <laughs> no, you don't put yeast in a cake. I don't know. Somebody will know. Owl cream. Yeah, I'm like, nah. What's the cutest Pokemon you like? Uh, it's definitely gonna be a, po a baby, baby Pokemon. Magmi, probably? No, it's not the cutest Pokemon I like. Look, okay. I like Magmi, but Magmi, Magmi is, is off cute <laughs> at the at best. Uh, I don't know. Um, I like Wooper. Wooper's cute. Is Pumpkaboo cute? I guess I guess Pumpkaboo yeah. could be considered cute. I don't really consider Pumpkaboo to be a cute design, like a super cute design. Mm -hmm. I think I think like when I'm talking about cuteness, I'm talking about like you know like the like shiny, the shine, the shi like shiny kind of color vibes, the like roundedness, lots of circles and swirls, very soft, yeah. like no edges, like that kind of like really stacking the cuteness up. Uh, God damn it. That that tends to not be my jam. I'm trying to think. Cent I love Centret. Love Centret. Centret. Centret's a super cute Pokemon that I like. I feel like Centret's not trying too hard. Mm. I like it. I like. I. I. Yeah. That's probably one of the cuter Pokemon that I like. Yeah. Mm hmm. I like uh, I like Oddish. Oddish is pretty cute. Oddish is Honestly. great, but I I also feel like Oddish isn't trying too hard. They just sort of gave it a, like a tiny mouth and tiny eyes, and that's sort of enough for it to become cute already. How's this? Do you think? Mm. I like the little I like the little tufts. Mm -hmm. I like the tufts. Give you gave like, it. You gave it. It's got a little bit. It's a little bit more rotund. Mhm. Mm Cause Fat Pikachu was always the better Pikachu. Right. Uh, I don't agree, but that's okay. I I realize I'm wrong. I just don't. I don't agree. <laughs> I think it looks I, really fucking silly. <laughs> that's fair. I. But this. This is the thing, though. This is the thing with Pokemon. I uh, a. I think like there's so many of them that everybody's personal preferences just clash and like oh, you're yeah. either on you're either on popular opinion or you're against it or you're in the you're in the middle 
and you mm -hmm. kind of on the fence. I've never really liked Fat Pikachu, but I a I get why people a like Fat Pikachu, and I get yeah. why people are upset that. Uh, uh, about Pikachu's change, I think like I think because a lot of a lot of the issue isn't necessarily that Fat Pikachu is gone. It's that Pikachu was changed to be have this more generic appeal and mm -hmm. like like to be it, be it became it became merchandised, and I think yeah. that people are frustrated about that. And I think that's perfectly justifiable. Totally, I totally get that. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, 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 I like, I just like Pikachu's design. I like your Pikachu design very well, though. I think it looks great. I love the ear um, tufts. I love the Ka elbow tufts. Cave kind of said, like, it's like dinner day and was smushed into Pikachu and it works. And I kind of agree. I just, the fact that, like, Pikachu's tail is, like, really thick and then Raichu's is just, like, a string was always weird to me. Like, I never understood that. Like, why not just give Pikachu, like, a stringy tail, too? And then you could just keep, like, this part, right? If you really wanted to and make it, like, this same shape. I don't know. Mm. Oh, yeah, I, I could see how... That's interesting. Yeah, the, the Den. I never really thought about that. They are... The, the Den is definitely, like... We put the rest of Pikachu's Raichu genes in a different Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, it is very much so that, and it's just like, fucking sure. why? Why couldn't Pikachu look like this? Sure, I totally, yeah. I totally get that. I, um... I don't know. I th I think that's one of the things that I find... That this, look, this, is, this is what I was thinking about the other day mm -hmm. when, when Rina was getting very passionate about... Uh, Dragon Knight. Yeah. People decide which Pokemon they think is the one that should have the greatest influence on the rest of the Pokemon line. Mm hmm And it's not up it's not up to us. But people have their own opinions about which Pokemon defines the line. So mm -hmm. like like from my perspective hearing her argument she felt like dragonite defined the line but i agree yes. with you that i don't think i first of all i didn't want to bring up bring it up i don't like dragonite at all i don't like like i i don't like mm -hmm. it i don't like pretty much any part of dragonite i think sure fun cute bubbly great i don't think it makes sense i think mm -hmm. you're i agree with you i i don't get it i i don't think it had to end up that way my general and argument is just that it's not what i wanted that's it. I don't care. Sure. I mean, that's all that's all different. That's all this that, and the other, right? Like if your personal preference. Mm -hmm. I think that it just doesn't I think that the the DNA through line is just mostly not there. Yeah. But but if you feel like Dragon Dragonite is the Pokémon, then suddenly it's the other two that either don't make sense or you can you can then see it because the perspective that you're coming from is mm -hmm. that Dragonite is the ultimate form and that changes your perspective and that changes how you approach your feelings about the first two Pokemon. Yeah. And I feel like it's kind of it's ki kind of like how like you feel about Raichu. It's like, well, why didn't Pikachu have this, that or the other, this thing that matches matches more with Raichu rather mm -hmm. than like, oh, well, like what does an actual Pikachu's third evolution look like? Yeah. You know what I mean? I, and maybe, and I think that that's an interesting. That could also be an interesting drawing. Is what if, what if Pika, Pikachu three actually yeah. existed instead of being Raichu, which is sort of like you know if if uh, Pichu and Dead End had a, did Dead a Dead high Dead. five and then smushed together. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know. I find that really interesting. I I think that that's one of the things about Pokemon that is so fascinating. Is that like if you pick like like personally. I hate, I, well, I hate, I really don't like Golem. I don't like Golem at all. I love Graveler. Okay. I love Graveler. I feel like. I would like, actually uh, say Golem is another one that's just like the only shared thing between them is that he's round. Right. And, and I, I get the, I get, again, I, I don't think that there's no DNA, right? Like, okay, yeah. Golem is sort of, or Graveler is, A, I mean, it's Graveler, right? Like the whole idea is that it's like maybe more of like a porous or a sedimentary kind of rock. It's, it's rough. It's like, it's kind of lumpy. And then Golem yeah. is like, you know, just like hardened plate, like rock, 
you know and, yeah. and i get that idea but it loses its personality it loses its like expressiveness it just becomes sort of this like sort of dour turtle thing and and mm -hmm. i don't and i don't like that but again if you if you look at the line and said oh golem makes perfect sense then suddenly you can you can better justify at least this is my own interpretation i feel like you could easier justify the evolution because like, oh well the point is that it's becoming hardened and yeah. i get that like there there are absolutely ways that you could justify it and stuff but then also it just literally depends on the pokemon you pick to justify it that's exactly it. exactly that perspective <laughs> really changes uh the, the perspective changes changes or could potentially change your opinion about it mm -hmm. there's a theory about the golem and machamp trade evolution oh like the pokemon influenced each other as they evolved Asked each other in the mm. in the trade cable well i mean but graveler gra grows the second the second arms so mm -hmm. i don't know that i mean i look poke pokemon is is theory breeding grounds i mean they don't yes. they barely justify fucking anything <laughs> mm -hmm. so if you want to come up with your own ideas it's a great place to do it do you have any do you have any pokemon theories like personal ones that you not 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 <sighs> not bits not bits but like things where you like genuinely you're like i feel like this is explains some aspect of pokemon lore or or you know um, I mean, I agree that I think Venonat should have turned into Butterfree. I think like that's a big oh, one. Is that, a, is that like a popular? Yeah. So the it it looks more like. Is oh, because of like the eyes. Yeah. Yes, the eyes. Yeah. Um, and it makes more sense for a uh, Kakuna to turn into Venomoth, basically. Mm, so okay right because like the body shapes are a little more mm -hmm. similar like kakuna okay. legitimately its shape looks like it has like moth wings so you know take mm -hmm, that as you mm -hmm. will mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel um that. i'm also of the go. mentality that i think i don't know if it's a theory ah. but like i think that kangaskhan and cubone were a thing Kangaskhan and Cubone? Yeah. Oh, so, that Cubone became Kangaskhan? It should have evolved into Kangaskhan because it wears the skull of its dead mother, but the skull doesn't look like a Marowak. It looks more like a Kangaskhan skull than anything. Sure. Mm. That sort of thing. Uh, sure, okay. I get you. Um, I'm trying to think if I have any others. Um... I can't for the life of me think right now. I know there's some. I just can't think of them. Does the... Is the Marowak's head... Its head? Yeah. It, like, fuses oh. to the body. That's so weird. Who's... Mm -hmm. I get what you're saying. So it's like, who supplied the first head? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. Interesting. Marowak should evolve into Kangaskhan. Here's the thing. I don't want that to happen because mm -hmm. Kangas Kangaskhan's fine. Oh, yeah. I, but I love Guessly, Marowak. Gengar is a dead Clefairy. I know that one. Yeah. Ooh, Gengar is a dead Clefairy. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, it has to do with the fact that they have like back spikes and uh -huh. their silhouettes right. are like the, very oh, similar. really identical. And yeah. they're both giant Pokemon. Yes. Which is, doesn't come across in the game. Mm -hmm. Clefairy should evolve into Clefable with a good dream, good dream style item. Oh, okay, got it. It's an item. I don't know what that is. And evolve into Gengar with a bad dream item. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Pikachu should evolve into Meryl. It's like a wet Pikachu. Isn't there a thing about Meryl? There is a thing about Meryl, right? Isn't there like an well, actual like piece of Pokemon theory, trivia about it? The theory was that just like theory? Meryl was going to be the uh, evolution or Pokemon or a second Pokemon and people called it Pika Blue because they right, thought yeah. it was the Pikachu for that generation, right? And it wound up not actually being the Pikachu for that generation and just kind of its own thing. But a lot of people still think it was the Pikachu for that generation. Hmm. Was that Gen? Was that Gen two? Yes. 
Interesting. So that would have been in between them basically realizing that they have a hit on their hands. Mm-hmm. In which they may have then moved to make Pikachu a mascot rather than trying to make a new mascot for each game. Yes. I think that sh- I think that holds water. Mm-hmm. Also, Ditto's are failed Mew clones. Isn't that just a thing? Is that real? So Ditto's I- are manufactured? Yes. So the idea was that Team Rocket yeah, basically TRM, was trying that. to clone Mewtwo, right? Uh. They, they never confirmed it. And in the mansion, you find that they in the burned down mansion, which is where they did that, you find Ditto everywhere. And so mm. Ditto is literally basic DNA and mm. literally the same color as Mew. So people are like, well, they took the DNA from Mew, tried to fuck with it. It didn't work and it failed and it turned into Ditto. Interesting. Same color, same weight. The only other Pokemon that can learn transform. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, cool, sure. I love that. That's that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know. I would have to like look through Pokemon and just think about like, do I have a theory about this Pokemon? Is there something I would change about this Pokemon, etc.? Sure, that could be a fun stream. You have you'd have to do the prep work ahead of time though. Nobody wants oh, to yeah, no, absolutely. sit there while you Google things for hours. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds cool. Okay. I love stuff like that. I, I think I think my my personal interest in the Pokemon verse is always the it's, it's just all the gangs. I just mm-hmm. I'm like I'm always so curious about their little these little these little gang team gangs. I find them fun. I feel like they give the world some some uh some interest. I feel like Pokemon like because of like how nice pokemon are and even after like galar was like look the pokemon they love to work for nothing uh yeah I, it's i was kind of like a situation where i'm like oh yeah I, I don't know i think anything that gives the world some depth instead of just being like we have pokemon and the rest of the world is fine and there's no problems except for there's a single catastrophe and everybody else is fine yeah. um i like it because i think that those those gangs are evidence of destabilization of of wealth and of you know mm-hmm. treatment and everything you team don't make skull gangs because everything's huge going with fine because the, the place team skull oh, team skull i know right that was that was that was the first pokemon game i'd played since crystal and i was like team skull is the most interesting thing i have, yeah. have seen about pokemon in forever They're literally a fucking poor people gang in this rundown town that everyone's mm-hmm. like y'all are pieces of shit and they're just like we're just trying to live like yeah. what yeah definitely dan would disagree with whom with whom about what and sargoda would you play a pokemon taking place in that pokemon war that is alluded to in red and hell blue? yeah hell yeah uh, I'd, I'd 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 play that game if it was a war if it was a Muso game. <laughs> I don't think I want to play it if if they're gonna have a big war, but somehow we're all doing turn paced battles. Like maybe if it's like um, Fire Emblem or something, I it, they would Conquest. have to change. It would have to fundamentally right. It have to be. It have to change the gameplay for me to play mm-hmm. that. But to be honest, I don't even know that I'm actually personally invested enough in Pokemon to do that. I think that I think that'd be an interesting game to make. Yeah. To, if I to sidestep the question, I think that they could make that and have it be interesting, but I'm not personally interested in playing that. Mm-hmm. Like I said, unless it's a Muso game, in which case, hell yeah, totally would play. I play the fuck out of a Pokemon <laughs> Muso game, hundred percent. The only problem is it'd be just like it'd be like Pokemon in that they have to only pick so many characters, which I think would inevitably be somewhat disappointing. Yeah, of course. It's always going to be disappointing when the, your favorite Pokemon is not included in everything. Exactly. It's like one of those things where, look, like at least personally, I'll take I'll take any I'll take any decks. I don't give a shit. Uh, if I'm getting, uh, you know, up to 200, 300 or something, mm-hmm. uh, it's fine. But when you are only picking like maybe twenty, it's much harder. It can be much more like ah, dang, I didn't get any yeah. of my 
faves. Uh, I could totally see that being more disappointing. Mm-hmm. Pokemon, excited for Pokemon Arceus. Oh, po what's it called? Pokemon Legends? Absolutely. I thought it was Pokemon Arceus. That's all I Is know it is. Is it called is. Arceus? I don't remember. I don't remember. Pokemon Arceus. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Okay, we're both gotcha. right. <laughs> I hope it's good. Oh, it, same. It, uh, I don't, to be honest, they didn't really show enough for me to know what the fuck it's about. But I, I hope it's good. Yeah. I hope it's, I hope it's interesting. I've always wanted to play a Pokemon game that someone said po action RPG. I've always wanted to play that. I've always wanted to play a Pokemon game where you, uh, where it's all like live action and you have mm -hmm. basically, it basically be like the ATB, like, style of like final fantasy where it's like your moves have cooldowns and you can actually move and dodge things so stuff like agility isn't just my evasion mm -hmm. up is up it's like no you can actually move around more and do kind of cool stuff but uh i realized that the amount of work that that would take is astronomical completely yep. untenable it's, it would cannot happen outside of again limiting the playable character amount mm -hmm. by a significant amount Okay, and then I need to do this. This. You know, I, I hope you just leave it with dead eyes. <laughs> just I, fucking cool circles. <laughs> my my Pikachu design is done. It it's looks great. <laughs> it's perfect. I do like. It. I I I see. I see. I see the through line and how it becomes a uh, a right shoe. I, I like it. I like the idea. Yeah. I'm glad my 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 musings about how bad Pikachu is make sense. I get it. I get it. Very excited for a new Snap. Me too. I actually never played. I I've never played Pokemon Snap. I just I've <laughs> watched it all the way through like three times. So there's oh. no point. <laughs> but okay, that's uh, fair. I, I mean, okay, I like played it like I like rented it as a kid once, but I wasn't I wasn't into Pokemon. And so I was kind of like, I was like, eh, whatever. But I appreciate mm -hmm. games like that a lot more now. Yeah. Uh, so I'm really excited for the new one. I hope I the thing the other thing I'm not excited for is everybody's going to be a fucking bitch about it. And I just don't I'm just not excited to hear it. I'm I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it from everybody. Every like everyone's gonna have something that they're some opinion. It's like, oh, game should have been like this. Game should have been like that. Why didn't they have this? Why does this Pokemon do that? Shut up. Mm -hmm. Leave me alone. At least for like a week. Just shut up for like a week and just enjoy the game. Let me just and play then, the damn like, game, like, please. Because like, like Pokemon Sword and Shield is like, hey, Pokemon Sword and Shield's out. Bitch time. Not enough. Where, where's all my Pokemon? It's like, no, oh, just. Just at least beat the game first, at least get through the whole game mm -hmm. so we can complain about the things that are in the game and then complain about Pokemon Company. You know what I mean? Yeah. Game Freak. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, right. It wasn't even out yet. I was like, ah, oh, just like, I get it. I'm not saying you can't be upset, right? But it's just like, mm -hmm. it's such a bummer when like a big release that lots of people are excited about, it, it like release in like a crowd of murmurs. You know what I mean? Well, well the it biggest thing is that out. a lot of people like to go out and be like, you should be excited about this because blah, blah, blah. And it's like, why? Let me be excited. Sure. Where'd right. You care? Yeah. Yeah. Be excited. Just let like let let people get why? hyped and then why so, why oh, does well, you're my just be disappointed? It's like yeah, that's fine. That, I I can live let with me. being disappointed. At least let me be disappointed. Let me try to be disappointed before you like rail on me. Exactly. 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 No. I. I. Yep. 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 Also, why the fuck does my interest in a Pokemon game change how you feel about it? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Oh, I am literally blocking out my schedule this month, chat, to do Pokemon games and just like fuck around and have fun. And then as soon as Nier comes out, I am streaming that. And I might stream that for multiple days in a row instead of like every other day. So I'm going to stream it until I finish it because I really want to finish Replicant and I'm so excited for it. And then after that, as soon as Snap comes out, like straight to that, 
It's just gonna be like bam, bam, like one right after the other. It's gonna be great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bam, <laughs> bam, yeah. I'm gonna play game Pokemon. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, when people project their opinions on others, is where it falls down for me. Right, sure. It's like me whenever I play, um, or like whenever I no play. When I used to work at GameStop, people would be like, "Man, Call of Duty sure does suck," and I'm like, "I uh, no." To you. Remember, remember when the whole planet loved Modern Warfare One and Two? Mm -hmm. There was there was a time where we all agreed that the formula works, and hey, the formula still works. You can be it still bored sells. of those games. It's like it's like Assassin's Creed. It's like, Assassin's Creed sucks. They just keep making the same game over and over. It's like yeah, but some people just play Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Some people are so enriched by that universe, those universes, that they are just like, this is my fucking jam. Video games might as well be Assassin's Creed games. That's mm -hmm. it. That's fine. It's okay. It can be disappointing personally. I get it. But it's just like, don't don't try to be like, hey, don't we agree that all, everything sucks? It's like, nah, we probably don't. <laughs> no. We, In we fact, we don't. do not. We probably don't agree that everything sucks. We We don't. I like most stuff, even the stuff like there's lots of stuff. There's definitely hella problems in video games. So many important problems. But I was once having a conversation with somebody who was going through something. They were mm -hmm. they were distraught. So I I didn't judge them for saying this, but they were complaining about Fire Emblem's localization and how they change like outfits and stuff. And they were yeah. like, "This is one of the this is like the biggest problem in gaming right now." And I was like, I was oh, like, yeah? me, a, me me a black man was like is it yeah all right is it the biggest problem and they were like oh you know what i'm no i'm sorry i i i spoke out of turn i that i, that, I, I don't i didn't mean that and i <laughs> but it was very funny because she was just really worked up about mm -hmm. all these little tiny yes, changes and stuff i'm like god dude it's i don't know i just think it, it, that's the thing if you're if you're in your space and that's what everybody's uh pissed off about I get it. I get it. it can it can feel like it's all that exists, right? Mhm. Mm sure, yeah. No. Of, of course. A criticism of a thing you but we're not talking about that. We're talking about wanton complaining mm -hmm. about things that don't even you haven't even experienced. Of course you should criticize stuff you like. I mean, I do that all the time. Hell yeah. I'm always like, I'm always like, I don't know, man. I, I, let me let me evaluate deer. If let's you... see, let's criticize deer. How much? How much is deer right, doing? doing? Deer doing a good job right now. Let's go. <laughs> no, Come I, on, let's go. I, no, I don't do that. I'm not gonna do let's that. Let's go. Let's uh, go. It's a bit deer. Shut up. No. Uh, no. Let's go. <laughs> I think I, there's a big difference between criticism and and just trying and seeing other people be happy about something and trying mm -hmm. to convince them that they shouldn't be happy. Yeah, there's, there's, those are two very, very different things. Mm -hmm. And I think and that's a lot of what happens around very large game communities. People will be like, hey, I really I'm really excited about this thing. It's like, yeah, but to be part of this group, you should feel this way because this is how the rest of us feel. Mm -hmm. And I don't think people realize that they do that, but it is part of it. Yeah. This shading job is impeccable. Thank you. It's almost like I know how to actually paint as a person. I wasn't calling that into doubt. Here. Well, no, okay. I know. I know. Okay. All right. You don't gotta. You don't gotta. It's almost like me. Okay. <laughs> is this you calling me out for my flaws? No, I just, I just, you, I, I just love that you have a, you've got, you've got your, you got your segue and it's, it's almost like, and I think it's charming. Mm -hmm. So I, I like, I don't know. I don't do it. So I feel like I'm like, you did it again. You did the thing. I did the I thing. Clap. I had a free, I had a friend freaking out at me once, Todd, that I was not upset. I had lost in a Hearthstone tourney and I was like, I'm just happy to be here. And he was personally offended. I was not raging. Like, yeah, like if someone else said it in chat earlier, it's people, it's people projecting. It's, I, I get it. I, like I said, I genuinely, I understand it because it's the kind of thing where if I catch myself doing it, I get very personally frustrated with myself that, mm -hmm. and I try not to do that, but it happens. It's human where you're like, yeah, 
why aren't you upset? I would be upset. I would be mm -hmm. upset. Why aren't you upset? And then someone said, well, I have this particular philosophy or whatever that helps me keep that in check. And then that person might think to themselves, why don't I have that? Why can't yeah. I control my rage or my this or my that? And it's, uh, I mean, it's not a nice feeling to feel, especially when it is a, an emotional issue. Mm -hmm. So I, I get that. I mean, it shouldn't, you shouldn't be, it's not an excuse to project that on the other people, but I understand why people get like, they feel like, well, you should be, you should be blah. You should be this. You should be that because you know, it, it's, it's, it can feel so, for some people, whenever things like that happen, they feel criticized. Um, yes. Uh, they, they, they feel criticized de facto where it's like, Oh, like, 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 like the whole thing. Like I think a common thing, I think most people either know about or have experienced themselves is not drinking and people who drink feeling judged by mm -hmm. people who don't drink. Oh, the other one Purely that I can think of the is fact literally vegetarians. Right. Right. It's all you think you're better than me. Like vegans where it's like, Oh, you think you're blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Because you're whatever like so and so the meat industry and so and so yeah. carbon emissions it's like oh you think you're you think you have the moral high ground mm -hmm. and the and thing i'm gonna is, eat a steak just right in front of you just to piss right. you off because <laughs> i can just make you mad <laughs> and you can be, and you can stick, it's like oh, okay just like licking a cow like ah you piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> just go out and find a cow and just stick a fork in it <laughs> uh no yeah and and there are, that's a, that, and i get like again some people are like that and they're ve mm -hmm. they people they use their personal decisions to take the power out that that you that you can derive from from a moral high ground especially with younger people yeah uh so i get it but also Fuck gotta off. read the room yeah Gotta read the room. Don't do that, you might actually die. If you lick a cow? That's terrifying. Also, is it bad? I surely should want the brushes in this game. The brushes look really nice. Mm -hmm. I, I saw a fucking, I saw a fucking tutorial about how to draw black hair that just took a fucking Q-tip and like mm -hmm. used ink with it. And it was just like that, that, that. And it was like, it's hair. And I'm like, how the fuck? And so I've been thinking <laughs> about making a brush by like doing that with ink and then turning that into a brush. Mm -hmm. So. Sure. I don't know. I'd Let me see if I can find it. it. You probably would find it interesting. Man, I've seen so many different. Here's how you make like 4C or like C. Yeah. C style natural hair. No, this uh, is I, like. I may have already seen it. <laughs> this is like legitimately like how to draw tribal braids, how to actually do this, like actual hairstyles instead of just like afro. Mm hmm. Which is really nice. Uh, let me find the other one from him because that was the one that I was interested in. Um. Yeah, how to draw an afro with a cute. You know how long I've been on this earth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there you look, go. life life experience can also turn you into somebody who is oh is can can turn you closed minded. So the, Wait, it's not always. It's not are always. Are you good. saying some people can be closed minded? Yeah, I mean, I, I think no. like like it's people. It's like people, you know, they get jaded, and I get it. I get it. Like you feel like you're you feel like you're making a good point, and they're like, yeah, but that's not how things work. And like, what are you supposed to say to that? Yeah. My mom, mm. my mom hit me with that shit all the time. It's like, you know, you just don't understand. It's like, well, you can always say that. <laughs> mm -hmm. The the one that my mom always pulls with me is like, oh, you'll just grow out of that, and I'm just like, mm. really? Because like you've told me I'm gonna grow out of like having a goth phase. I didn't. You're you told mm -hmm. me I was gonna grow out of disliking the city. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Like, at what point am I just gonna not grow out of these things that you think I am? Mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing. I think it's really hard because, you know, I mean, you hear you hear that forever. Even if you're, even if you're mm -hmm. five, ten, fifteen, or twenty or thirty, you'll hear that from people who are older than you. It's just like you have to. You just have to be like, okay, well, this is this has stopped being about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's really it. Okay. He okay, did his Lee, best. Lee, Lee tried. 
he tried you know what the, oh. sh the the shading is very is is there's a lot of thought put into it and yeah. that's good i will say this it looks more like pikachu than mine does <laughs> <laughs> i don't know about that yours is still pretty pikachu -y. Mm. i like it, it looks good mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, I like the idea of Pikachu still being round, or at least rounder, mm -hmm. not like the orb that he was. Mm. I like the idea of him having more similar to a Raichu tail, and not having like the single piece ears, because Raichu's ears have like an actual hangover, whereas mm -hmm. Pikachu's ears are just like a whole piece. Mm -hmm. and it's weird, and I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't like it. Well, Pichu's ears are like that. Yeah, and I don't like it. <laughs> I want them to look like maybe real ears. Yeah, I I, 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 like I said, I think that's the whole thing with that's interesting about evolutions is that some like there's a you know you look at I think I think in particular you look at the starters mm -hmm. and they are all very much like this is part one, this is part one point five, and this is part two. Like they're all almost all the starters are like the the mid evolution is just a gradient towards yeah. the final evolution whereas other pokemon pick and choose things which change and don't change in the second uh evolution and mm -hmm. i think it makes sense but i can also <gasps> see why it's not you know how things can be can mess up what, what happened look at him oh yeah wow that looks great look at him Print he's so it. good like this would be Print such a better card. pikachu I'm sorry. It was. <laughs> yeah, you did nail the lighting. You even nailed the lighting direction, which is funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, they tell you how to do the lighting direction and you just follow it. But yeah. Oh, OK. Well, it still looks great. Yeah. I don't know. I just I don't know. I, I could sit here like and rant it. about Pokemon designs for a while. Sure. Why not? All just right. Who'd, fine. Who do you want to rant about? Let's go. I don't know. I'm. I've been. Ta I've been talking for like an hour and a half. I'm. I, I'm all I, out of rant. I'm good. And I mean, I, I could say, get more I love, rant, but I'm good. I for do now. love just hearing you rant personally. <laughs> it's it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> Thank you. So. Bah, 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 bah. That's me. Bah, bah, bah. Mm -hmm. I have so many opinions. Flygon. What about Flygon. Flygon? Todd, how do you feel about Flygon? It's fine. The same. <laughs> I think Fly I think a Flygon's fine. I, I I think I think I both like and don't like the like superhero kind of vibe it has. Like mm -hmm. I like it, but I'm also but like if I look too closely, I don't like it. I don't know. I F Flygon is the kind of Pokemon. Let's put it this way. I wouldn't put Flygon in my team. Yeah. And I don't play for stats or skills or whatever anyway, so I, I tend to mm -hmm. pick Pokemon. I, I like to pick a variety for, for for type coverage, and then I just pick stuff I like. I wouldn't put Flygon on my team. I don't think Flygon's bad. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't put them on my team. I, I like I, 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 I think that I think the eyes being its centerpiece are why it can be a contentious pick. Because I just the don't eyes like... are such a strong design choice. I feel like the thing on its head, like its weird antenna thing, are a lot. And I feel like its wings being like flat are a lot. And I think that's just my biggest issue with it. The wings being flat. Yeah, they're just like one piece and they just don't look like wings at all. They're just kind of mm, there. They don't have dimension. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't. Maybe I don't like that either. I don't know. It, I guess, it's just I, those I guess two things. If, I don't know. If I were gonna like Flygon more, I think I'd like it if it were a little bit more of a dragon. Yeah. In that, and I agree with you. I think that the wings are part of that. I think mm -hmm. if the wings looked more like a dragon, I would like it more. Yeah. I do like the color on the wings, though. Yes, I agree with that. We graduated, chat. Now we can do whatever. Who's on the other side? Sort of. Oh, Re Rena loves Flygon. 
<gasps> you, you're not you're not allowed to disparage Flygon and Rena's chat. You'll mm -hmm. get timed out. You'll be sent smudge to jail. stick. Smudge. Ooh. Pastels and smudge. 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 I think Flygon should look more like a bug, but it's not a bug. It's not, but it evolves from a bug. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing with Pokemon that change types. It's mm -hmm. harder to... That's the thing. And you know what I mean? Again, like, it becomes... Again, it becomes a perspective thing. It's like, should it be more of a trap inch or should it be more of a Flygon? I, I, I yeah. Hope, it depends on how you feel. I forget all the time that trap inch is related to Flygon in the first place because I... Mm -hmm. if, if I get a trap inch, it goes straight in the damn box along with the other ants. I don't give a fuck. I do think Trap Inch is charming. I just don't want to use it. I like I like a chompy thing. I mm -hmm. like the turtle chomp that they added in Swoosh. I love that thing. That fucking turtle guy. Right. Love him. Chat. Like 30 tails. Oh yeah. Fuck that's up, that's fuck a up lot. Vulpix. How are we f fucking up Vulpix though? Yeah, I'm not good like, at the curse 30 stuff. Tails that's is all a lot, you guys so, do Oh that. god. Vulpix but only one tail? Curly fries Vulpix. Oh no. Uh, okay, I have an idea. Jesus. Alright, so it's like here. Here. No. Here. It's like this, and this, this, and here's Curly Fry 1 and 2. Here's the Naruto headbands. Mm hmm. And then. Go like me. And then it's got an eye here. It's got an eye here. What is happening? And I'm sketching. You sure are. And it's got a leggy. And when did it become 10:30? Uh, when the clock struck 10:30. Thank you, dear. Hey, no problem. It's really great. Mm hmm It came like right after 10.29. Oh, wow. You don't say. Yeah. Super helpful answer. Yeah, no problem. And it's a curly fry. And then there's another curly fry. <laughs> Just a curly fry. What is the concept for this? Naruto and curly fries. Oh, okay. Got it. And then it has one, two, three, six tails, one, two, three, four, five. Huh? And then there's like its bangs hang down like it just came out of an anime convention. Ooh. Needs to not have this dump track ass that I gave it. Have a real butt. And yeah, does it? I hate <laughs> bad it looks legs. like those. It looks like looks like those lollipop trees at Disneyland that they like. Mm -hmm. That they make. It looks like that the little twirly ones that I never buy. Oh yeah, absolutely. I occasionally I would buy them, but like I'd really need to want one. I have to wonder how much I, w I would love to hear because you can theory craft all day. I would love to hear the actual thought process behind certain confectionaries in like theme parks, because like in my head, I don't know anybody mm -hmm. who I, other than children, I've never seen people like buy the giant lollipops, but if they didn't have them, they wouldn't Things sell would them. Things would feel wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the kind of thing where it's like, sometimes you gotta have stuff that evokes that nostalgia and that, that kind of feeling, even if it's non-functional. And I, but, I, 
but I want to hear if that's what they actually think or if those things actually just fucking sell there's just that many children who are buying that shit I mean I would buy it I used to buy the giant lollipops like the 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 giant giant lolly, lollipops right um yeah it's the twisty tie ones that like I would really need to be in the mood for honestly mm -hmm. so okay Oh, yeah, everyone's talking about Diglett. What's going on in the Diglett chat? What's up with Diglett chat? What's wrong I don't with know, they're talking about Diglett, saying stuff about it being a dick butt. Kinda, probably. You don't know. Might be. I I love Diglett. I think he's just silly. And then he turns into the Hanson I... brothers, and it's a lot. <laughs> That's a different story. <laughs> what? You don't like the Hanson brothers? Uh, I don't like the Alolan Diglett. No. That's fair. No, thanks. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Thanks, bud. Did you did you like the Galarian Meowth? Um and Perserker. I didn't like Perserker as much. I did like Galarian uh, Meowth. I loved I loved uh I loved Perserker. I thought it was great. I, <laughs> I, I I don't I don't think I really know. I don't, think I, I don't know anybody who liked Berserker, but mm -hmm. I love I really love Berserker a lot. I, honestly, it's one of my favorite Pokemon now. I love it. It's a big beard, big the like I don't know. It's just a big corny Viking meowth. I don't know. I love it. I think it's really fun. I mean, I think he's okay. I just kind of wanted a Persian ah. more than anything. They already have a Persian. I I know, but I'm saying a Persian that wasn't like the Alolan Persian. <laughs> okay, so what you're saying is you wanted a do-over. Yeah. <laughs> because you didn't like the Alolan Persian's big head. Yes. I like the Alolan Persian. So I'm I'm get, I'm I'm I made out like a bandit with this these Meowth variant changes and you, you got did. fucked. So take that deer. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah. yeah, take that. Oh no. In your face. No. <laughs> uh I wonder how people do people in people in chat like Berserker? Looking at Berserker from the front, I wanted it to just be a big fur ball, but the beard is cool. Well in Persian is just Persian that ate, that ate a bee. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> what is it, Gamblo dog? But Gamblo Persian. Gamblo one dog. Yeah. Gamblo one gin. I like Viking Meowth. I thought Berserker was a fun design. Okay, well apparently chat's on your side and not mine. I so. like Berserker, but Alolan Persian I'm not fond of. I won't. I definitely won't defend Alolan Persian, though I do like it uh, for whatever. I don't know why. I think it reminds me of like a like an '80s like uh, cartoon character, like Rocky and Bullwinkle, <laughs> and, I, and I just kind of like bit, that yeah. a lot. I think that's fun. Berserker, I, I I really love Berserker. Berserker is just Berserker is my kind of Pokemon though. Mm -hmm. To me, I I really I really love a Pokemon that is like animal concept with another theme on it, um, or, or some octopus, other yeah. like a, a a grounded concept that that makes sense with another theme on it. Like um, mm -hmm. uh, like one one of my favorite Pokemon. <sighs> Period of all time. Oh wait, what happened? Did I ask you a question? No, go ahead. Oh, favorite regional. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I have to think about it, so keep talking. Oh, okay. One of my favorite Pokemons of all time is Obama Snow. And I love that it's just a it's a fucking it's a tree. And mm -hmm. then they, they took they took a tree and they were like, what if the tree was a Yeti? And I just think that's a perfect, clean design path to take. And not saying you have to like it, but I do think that the design itself has, uh, has it's clear what they were thinking about. It's clear where it came from and it makes sense in terms of the theming combination. And I think that that's how you make a good Pokemon. 
I think I think a bad Pokemon, you don't know what they were trying to do in the first place. Mm-hmm. Like like Stantler. Like we all know Stantler <laughs> is a shit Pokemon. But it's like, what were they doing? Mm-hmm. Why is it why is it lumpy? Like what you know what I mean? Like you look at a Pokemon, why does you're like, it I don't know the what they were trying to why do. Why does it Yeah. Right. So I would be stuck between because I like I like a Lylan Raichu, a Lolan Raichu, but I don't know if he's my favorite. But I do really fucking love a Lola Vulpix and Ninetales. I think those might probably be my favorite. But Galar Zapdos is also up there. Like him just being a fucking ostrich is great. Galar Zapdos. Mm hmm. Did I just miss that? Yeah, there was Sword they, and Shield did, DLC. Did they add those? Oh, it's DLC. Okay, I was like, how did I? I had not even heard of this. Oh, dude, this is fucking sick. Yeah. Oh, there's I also, love this. There's also it's a, like, a, like a dog, ostrich. Like a do, do, what's the other do duo? Do duo. But it took yeah. a head off and made it fucking a hot rod. <laughs> well, yeah, it's it's an emu slash ostrich, and then there's also a little Articuno. Oh, it's fighting, and it's fighting. Yeah. Yes, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, there's also a Lolan Moltres, which is pretty sick, and a Lolan Articuno, which I adore. A Lolan Moltres is a lot. <laughs> yes. A, Lol a Lolan Moltres looks like a like a new mob in the Nether of Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Oh, what the fuck is this? Hmm. What is this fucking Slow King? Oh yeah. He looks like a fucking he looks like a like a like a church puppet. Like he looks like he's like like he's misleading the flock. Like it's like oh like the the stooge of the of the of the church has you know what I mean? It looks yes. like he's like like a he's a puppet king. I love this so much. Yeah. This is a, a great the, idea for a Pokemon. Oh my god. A lot of the so Gala Game ones of are really fucking good and it's great. I, I really like I don't I don't know that there's any Galar one that I didn't like I even like Mr. What's his name Mr. Mr. Mime Dance. Mr. Rhyme Yeah I love him I love him I get why people don't like him I love him I think it's fun mm -hmm. Yeah I love all of these I love the punk ass Zigzagoon and He's, the Obstagoon mm, I like Zigzagoon and Linoon I don't like Obstagoon so much but I do think that the previous like Zigzagoon and Lunoon are the better versions, in fair. my opinion. That's fair, that's fair. I like him with the big Dark is so good though. What? Darumaka and Darmatan? Oh they're so uh, good. yes. Oh my god, they make me so this, happy. This coming from a person who actually really loved the originals. Same. Actually, I had never heard of Darumaka until I thought that Darumaka was the was the one that it like was the correct one, and then mm -hmm. people explained to me it was a variant. I was like, oh okay. I like the ice ones better, but I like ice Pokemon better than everything mostly. Usually. That's fair. You would be the ice gym leader. That's fair. Maybe. I think it'd be funny. I think I think I'd make a I think I'd make a very interesting ice gym leader because I don't think that I'm the kind of person that you would expect to like ice things. Mm -hmm. No, you're not at all. But like, that's not the point. I don't like I don't like Stunfisk, but I also don't like Stunfisk. Period. <laughs> Same. I I do think the bear trap concept is good, though. I'll give it that. The fucking hollowed out, uh, uh, Corsola that becomes Cursula. Honestly, I think is a stroke of goddamn genius. Oh yeah, no. Po ghost, po ghost Pokemon tend to be like the best from like a thematic perspective. They're so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, these fucking onion ring twirls are excellent, dear. <laughs> Thank you. I can like smell them, and you the haven't even frame. painted. You haven't even highlighted them yet. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm at the fair. Glad. I'm glad I could take you to Fun the fair. Fun fact, Galarian Moltres technically came before the discovery of Kanto Moltres as they named the Kanto one after the Galar one. I did not know that. That's interesting. Hmm. Alolan Muck. What's Alolan Muck look like? I forget. He's toxic waste. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah, the colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. X yeah, sure. I love I love Alolan Muck. Um, Alolan Marowak. Yeah. 
Alolan Marowak is like free. It's like, yeah. How could you? I mean, how could you be, dislike it? Honestly? Yeah, how could you dislike that? It's just that they just made Marowak like kind of edgier in like a really fun way. I like, oh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Glaren Zapdos, yeah, Cursula, Dark Market, Dark Market. Okay, sure, okay, cool. Great opinion. <laughs> Galar Weezing is great. I I love Gal. I love a goof. I love a goof. Mm. And I think Weezing is a great Pokemon to turn into a goof. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, look at the Alolan Ninetales. Yeah, it's. I never one saw of my it. I only got. I got an Alolan favorites. Vulpix. I, yeah. I actually had an Alolan. Uh, Nine Tails and Pokemon Go that was like bad stats and everything, but I mm -hmm. literally gave it as many rare candies as I can because it was one of my favorite things, and I just took it into every fucking fight I could, <laughs> even though it would die. That's fair. That's fair. I think one of my main Pokemon in my Moon playthrough was a um, Alolan Golem for a mm -hmm. long time. I think I just used them because I liked. I, again, I like the beard, but also I think I just like their moves. Their moves are really good. They had that like, like mortar thing. I forget what it's called. Yeah. Some fancy move. And I was like, oh man, this is really good. I mean, this is me saying this. I don't know. It might be shit. I don't know. I don't You're know good. anything about Pokemon. All I know is when I use a move and then railgun. Yeah. Is that what it actually was called? Because I remember, I think that's what I, th that's what I, I think that's what I'm thinking of unless you're unless you're playing with me. But I feel like that's what I'm thinking of. I mean, he's based on a railgun. That is accurate. I went, let me see. I've done two runs through Sun and Moon and both were theme runs. Run one was all bug types and run two was all bird Pokemon. Really interesting. Okay. All bug types. That had charge a bug, right? Yes. I love that little fucker. See, again, a great Pokemon design. Bug, char like, battery, done. Easy. Mm -hmm. Loved it. Ex excellent Pokemon. One of my favorite bugs, and I don't like bugs. I don't like the bugs either, to be fair. Do not and like them. that's em. apparently a fucking contentious thought. Well, yeah, because Dan loves them, and Dan is a furiously passionate man. <laughs> yes. Okay, we can both quietly not like bugs together, buddy. Hell yeah. Now Max is some... the only, not the only one who has a, a buddy. Hell yeah. <laughs> there are there are plenty of... I don't know, man. That's a, the that's a thing. That's a lovely thing about Pokemon. There's... There's no, there's no type or theme where I think that they don't have at least one good Pokemon, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, like for me, like, Caesar, Heracross, top tier bug Pokemon, top oh, yeah. tier uh, po Pokemon, period. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Even though Heracross is mostly just the Hercules beetle. Yeah, but that's fine. But I like him. Yeah, I like him It too. also helps that I think his personality was flushed out in the anime. Mm -hmm. I do like Ambipom. Which I, which is uh, I uh, I understand as a contentious opinion. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is. He's got hands. Mm -hmm. Good for him. I don't want him to touch me. I'm gonna just here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I I, I don't even know. I don't. I, yeah. Let me just do this. I'm gonna go random Pokemon generator, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. ask you what how you feel about that Pokemon. All right. I'm down. Generate one. I don't care. Just all regions, all types. Yes. Generate. How do you feel about Claw It, sir? Um, well, I mean, the thing he's based off is really cool, but I don't know. He's just whatever. I don't think I would use him, but he doesn't like offend me. Is this, is, is this claw just too big? I just, I don't know. I just don't, he doesn't interest me. Okay, it does not spark fair. joy. <laughs> Doesn't or nor anger. Mm -hmm. It sparks indifference. <laughs> yeah. Sure, that's fair. That's fair. I love Claude, sir. Claude, sir is concept and cool, not so great execution. I think. I think the only thing I don't like about Claude, sir, if I recall correctly, is its uh, player side sprite is not my. F I don't like it. Yeah. It, that, that's which is which is can be a thing with Pokemon. Oh yeah. They, they can no. just have worse. They can just have worse player side sprites and it bums me out. Meganium. 
for example. Meganium's player sight's bright as sh what happened? <laughs> I don't know. It's it's what? always just been terrible, and I don't understand why good. or how. It's not good. <laughs> uh, that Pokemon sold you on Gen 6. I love Claude. I literally, I almost bought Pokemon uh, X because, or whichever one had Clotzer. I almost bought it because I would, I just love Clotzer so much. Mm -hmm. It's totally my jam. I don't know. I don't know why. I just love it. I, I do. I mean, that's everyone, fair. I, I, yeah. I don't know. It's just fun. I also, yeah. I also like. I, I think I, in particular, I like it because it's an evolution. <laughs> this is like yeah. this lobster cannon is just like, what if it got really fucking big? <laughs> yeah, no, that's oh fair. I, I feel like Clodsters were interesting to me than the, than the pre-evolution as well. So yeah, sure, that's fair. Okay, well, this is a special Pokemon. This isn't even okay. I'll just ask you about the regular one. I, I rolled Ash's Greninja, but that doesn't really count. <laughs> Uh, how do you like, how do you like Greninja? Um, he's okay. I know really? he's Max's, he's Max's wow. favorite, but like, I just, just... okay, huh? I don't know. There's just something about the fact that like, he's got the tongue kind of bugs me a little bit. He's cool. Like, it doesn't bug you from a design perspective. It personally bugs you. It's just like, ew, it's this a little is gross. gross. Yeah. <laughs> just a little, ew. Why are you so slobbery? Greninja what the should fuck? Have a, uh, Greninja should have a bubble scarf instead of its tongue. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I would agree with that. Because Frogadier has a bubble scarf, right? I like it this way more. I think this again. See, this is that. This is the thing we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. It's a. It's a. It's a piece of the design which doesn't change from one to two, but from two to three, it changes quite a lot. Yeah. And if you decide, the tongue is what. Should, is what it should have been eventually it feels it feels fine but if you decide that the bubble should have continued and grown in scale mm -hmm. then it's like well why did you get rid of the bubbles yeah <laughs> oh, excuse me uh so i why totally did you just like make the tongue bubbles like why it i don't know did he spit too much and he's cleaning it up i don't know sure no i i, I think it's a like i see the <laughs> excuse me I think it's a valid I think it's a valid question. I love the tongue. I think it's great. I mean I think it's gross, but I love I think it's a fun idea and I love the mm -hmm. I love the like going with the ninja aesthetic. I love it. But I but I get I get what you're saying. Mm hmm That's her, honestly. Thank and you. Zizi. I kinda want some fucking curly fries. I hate the tongue. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think I think I think tongue, just the fact that it's a tongue is just, is enough to spark debate. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, next Pokemon. I'm actually curious how you, how you feel about this one. Uh, uh, slacking. Slacking being which, the first, second, or third? I believe slacking is the third one. Oh, I hate him. The big guy with the giant forehead. Yeah, he's just fucking ugly. <laughs> Fucking bodied slacking, you big, you big lump. Cow, pig, monkey. Okay, but there is a conversation to have here. Mm -hmm. Regardless of, of how you feel about slacking, I feel like I feel like this is one of those Pokemon that's kind of like Torchic, the Torchic line, where you look yeah. at Vigoroth and you're like, where did it go? Yes. Because you look at Slackoth and you look at Slacking and you're like, okay, this makes sense if it was a one, two. Mm -hmm. But there's a Vigoroth in the middle and you're like, where did it go? Yeah, it it feels like he stood up and then he sat back down. <laughs> right. I, I, I assume that the, the decks must talk about this, right? Because I mean, like that, that I think that that's actually really interesting is like Slake mm -hmm. off is, you know, it's again slacking, right? That's the whole thing. Yes. It's it's lazy. But then in, in its middle evolution, it becomes vigorous. I think that's interesting. I don't know that it makes sense. I don't think it makes sense at all. I, I, I don't know that it makes sense. But it's, I think, but I also do think that it is consistent with some of the weirdnesses about scientific, you know, like actual biology mm -hmm. of like hormones and stuff, you know, having great effects on personality and behavior. 
Yeah. It took some so, cocaine, hence the white fur. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So I don't know. I think I think I like it. I think the thing I don't like about it is I don't like slacking. <laughs> yeah, I think that's kind of my thing too, because I liked slack off. I also like uh, a good similar Pokemon is Zangoose, right? I liked both of them, but slacking is just kind of meh. Zangoose. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, wait, does Zang but Zangoose doesn't evolve. Nope. I'm saying like design wise, I oh, like Zangoose. Similar to Vigoroth. Yeah. Oh, okay, sure. I I I, I could see that. I feel like Vic Zangoose is just a, like a edge. <laughs> just a big edge monster. Mm -hmm. But I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Zangoose was the Scyther for Gen 3. Oh, I don't. I can't agree with that. Sorry. Zang Zangus Zangus's design comes from its accentedness, but Scyther doesn't have accents. Scyther is a clean design. I get what you're saying in terms of it being ed like kind of edgy, but I don't agree mm -hmm. that they're that they embody the same spot in terms of design. Can't agree with that, but that's just me. That's fine. Zangus is one of the ones that I was actually kind of surprised that like um it didn't have an evolution or anything. Yeah, totally. I get that. It was one version and Survivor was in the other. Oh, I see. Okay, I apologize. That makes sure. Okay, it's fair. Do you think Vigoroth was a planned prevo for Zangu? No. Doesn't make any sense. The monkey turned into a ferret? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> Zangus has emotional edges. That's fucking funny. Okay, this is fun. I like this. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should just go on your stream, Dan's stream, Rena's stream. Just, I just do this and just get opinions. All right, let's go. Todd interviews his friends about let's Pokemon. Go. <laughs> You're part of the uh, podcast now. Let's go. All right. Uh, Wigglytuff. A neutral, probably. I okay. I prefer out of like Clefairy versus or like Clefable versus Wigglytuff. I far prefer Clefable, right? I I was okay. always just kind of annoyed by Jigglypuff, but I think it was just because of the anime making it to be like the super cute thing, and it was a whole bit that I just didn't enjoy, sort of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't think I really like Wigglytuff that much, but not enough to be like set it on fire. <laughs> sure, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. I also don't really like Wigglytuff, but I do like the name and mm -hmm. I do like it as an evolution. I do. I I that I, I think is fine. Um. OK, next one. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Uh, Hippopotus. Hippopotus. Hippopotas. 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 I don't really like him. I like the idea of him, but I would never use him, nor do I really want to catch him. <laughs> he, I literally would see him and just be like, run. <laughs> like, I don't even care. Yeah, Hip Hop Anonymous. Hip Hop Anonymous. Hip hop anonymous. Hip hop uh, autonomous. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like hippo potato. I like. I like their evolution though. Mm -hmm. Hip hop. I think that it's just the like, the like humongous entertainment <laughs> eyes that I don't like. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. It's just like meh. I, I like other Pokemon like this. I like Camerupt. I like the like yeah. I, I like I like a large lump Pokemon from time to time. Lumps are good. Right? Lumps are good. Yeah, I remember seeing this Pokemon and being I was like, mm, this Pokemon eh. seems very strange. Yeah, it's it's a lot. But it definitely is kind of like that cute vibe and then it go it turns into Hip Out on and it's like I will fucking kill you. <laughs> it's, I will fucking. It, it's very much I will, so a fucking murderer. 
It is a murder. It's like I will turn the ground to sand and slowly chomp you to death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Next Pokemon. Foretress. It's fine. Throw it in the trash, though. Aw, I like Foretress. Well, I know. That's that's so okay. does Dan, but I'm just, I don't know, it's not my oh, jam. Oh, Dan likes Foretress, interesting. I believe so. Okay. I think Foretress <laughs> honestly seems to me like a like a Mega Man enemy. <laughs> and I kind of I kind of like that even though it's it makes it kind of stand out. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> it, it like it just I'm like this looks like I would see it in like a maybe a game like Strider or something. It seems like very Capcom. <laughs> mhm. Mm but yeah, I don't know. I like him. I think he's simple, you know. The Acorn Cannon, you know? I get it. I like it. No, it's not amazing though. I definitely agree. It's not. It's not an amazing design. It also has a weird player side sprite. Yeah, it does. I like. I like the red though. I like the the red looks. It's a really nice red. Uh, okay, next one. Ooh, I think you might like this one, Starly. Isn't that the Hitler bird? What? Hold on. Let me make sure before I say Hitler this. Hitler bird? It's evolution. I... Staraptor is? Is he? I know. Staravia. Staravia is because it's. We talked about this as in high school at the time or whatever, because it's static pose is one wing straight out and it oh. has the, the little thing on the end of its beak. And we're like, it just it looks like fucking Hitler. Oh man, Staravia. Yeah, why not Star why you gotta do that to Staravia, man? <laughs> I, that's what it looked like at the time, and we were like, "All right, it's messed up." Staravia, Staravia looks like it's just fucking there. Mm -hmm. Like Staravia looks like it's been waiting for an Uber for thirty minutes. <laughs> but yeah, it's like the in-game sprite or something has its wing like straight out, and I'm just like, "Fucking why though?" I like the voice, I think, from the Pokemon. It's like, Staravia! I was like, did you just get Jesse to do this voice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what Pokemon am I thinking of? Or not Jesse, James. I don't know what you're thinking about. But do you like, okay, but you didn't even say what, how you it, feel about no, Starling. No, 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 it was, um, Look at um him. the the pigeon, Pydove, that's what it was. I'm an idiot, sorry, it was not Staravia. It was, it was, Pied of. Hi, Viola. What's up? Well, I hope that you get Pied of in your randomizer now. Or maybe it was Star Arabia and it was just a different spot. I don't know. It was one of those. Okay, it's so fine. how do you feel about Starly, dear? Stop avoiding the question. Starly? Yeah, um, it's a little fucker. It's, I love it. Don't let that influence your opinion, though. I mean, I think he's a good design. It, as someone who never really liked the bird Pokemon, he was up there for me. Oh, uh, you don't like the bird Pokemon? Okay. I he's just kind of hanging them. out. Um, uh, there's like a few that I really liked, but like it just it took a while. Like I like, what is it? Two Cannon and oh, fuck, I can't think of the previous evolution names. Um, I don't remember. Hi, Two Cans. <laughs> But yeah, I I don't know. He's fine. He's a little boy. Oh, uh, oh, toucan and Trumbeak and Picky Peck. Yeah, Picky Peck. Picky Peck was the one that I really liked. I think I had a, I was run, I was run, running a toucan in, in my playthrough. I think in the moon. Mm -mm. He's a little old man, a little grumpy. Yeah. Yeah, I so like. I, I really like Starly. I like him. That's fair. This is. This, I think Starly is is up there with cute Pokemon that I like. I, I mean, like his little fucking dead ass fair. eyes. <laughs> the dead inside eyes. Yeah, they look. I don't know. He's just like, I'm gonna peck your fucking face off. And mm -hmm. you're like, shit. All right, don't don't run into goddamn Starly in a back alley. Pied of over Pidgey. Mm, yeah, sure. I'll take that. 
I'll yeah, take that action. I would, I would agree. Is, there's a there's a there's a three tier bird evo per game, right? Yes. Because there's like, or at least two tier. At least two. Okay. Because there's the pheasant one. Uh huh. Unpheasant. Yeah, and then there's the Starly series. There's the Pied of series, right? Or does Pied of become mm -hmm. unpheasant? No. Okay. There's Pidgey, obviously. There's mm -hmm. who else is there? There's the Corviknights. Yeah. Which are some of my favorites. Although, a Corvi okay, here we go again. Corviknight is one of those lines where, look, I get it. Corviknight's cool. I don't, I liked, mm -hmm. the, I liked where it was going with the first two. I wanted the blue. I wanted the accents. Yeah. I, I, I absolutely and, agree to that. And the thing is, is I don't want to take Corviknight away at all because Corviknight's dope as shit but I but I liked I liked the Rookie D line in the direction it was going mm -hmm. and they, they they were like zoop hard turn into Corviknight which is again yeah uh -huh, it's, it's how it goes right but like I said that was definitely one of those situations where I was like uh okay fine Did you like, I got a Rookie to... D and I was like I had no idea that this was going to become Corviknight oh yeah no absolutely not <laughs> Pie Dove does become unfazed. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure it does. Okay, never mind then. Never knew that Starly's final Evo was because I always try to go into a new Pokemon kind of blind. And when we evolved into Staraptor, I promptly renamed him Fuck Yeah Bird. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. That's hilarious. Um, okay, what are the other birds? I don't remember. I'm trying to think of them. Well, I mean, technically Sparrow and Pharaoh. Sure. What's the Gen 2 birds? Hoot Hoot Knocked Owl. Is that it? Yep. Huh. Can I just search bird Pokemon? Is that a thing? Yeah, you can. You can do you can search whatever you want, Todd. Well that the you you must understand that the question I'm asking is will that return results that make sense? Yes, it does. No, it didn't. <laughs> I'm on Bulbapedia. It did not do that. Let me see here. Taylor Swellow. Oh, yeah. Oh, Fletchling Fletchender Talonflame. Thank you. Mm hmm. Yes. I was trying to think of that. Does Ash gets one of those, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fletchender and Talonflame are fantastic. Yeah, I agree. Soraptor is my least favorite of the normal birds by far. Really? Okay. Wingle, Pelipper. Yeah, but they were like, they were more water Pokemon. Right? Weren't they special attack heavy? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, oh. Yeah, that's not your oh. name. Oh. Whoa. 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 Oh, Lee. Oh, no. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Lee. You sponge too much. Lee. Oh, no. <laughs> He's. Oh, Lee. me when oh, I find no. a smudge tool in, fo in Photoshop. Oh, so smudged. Uh, yes, Dr. House Party. Um, Deer was saying that's actually one of their favorite bird lines. Mm -hmm. Is the two cannon picky pick? Oh, no, its tail blends in with the tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, that's great. <laughs> I love that. That is ad. That's. <laughs> Those are really uh, great onion onion twirls. Thank you. Or, it makes no, me want curly twirls. fries. I mean curly curly fries. I keep saying onion. I don't mean onion, but yeah, yes, curly fry twirls. Uh, okay. Here's another one. Mhm. Mm actually, I think I, I I gotta go after this. So we'll okay. do, we'll do we'll do three more. Okay. Uh, Gardevoir. Like it. It's one of the few human Pokemon that I'm like, yeah, I like that. It the fact that it's like a princess and there's the Prince Evolution from Ralts if it's a male with the Dawnstone. I like it. Hmm. Okay. I was gonna ask. I was like, I wonder because I feel like a lot of I feel like Gardevoir is a is a very well liked Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I I love uh, it shiny too. The black dress is great. Wow. Really? That's kind of cool. Like the Mega Evolution shiny. I haven't actually it's so seen pretty. It. 
Well, because oh, yeah, Mega Gardevoir that. has oh, like the, the big dress. Yeah. And the blue hair. Okay, I love this. Yeah, that's a great shiny. Man, the, yeah. Oh, Gardevoir's sprites are all excellent. Holy shit. <laughs> yes, Jay Bailey. Very well liked. Uh oh, don't. Hey, come on now. It is. Anyway. I mean, that this is, is my Deer's stream. I don't, I don't know why I'm even <laughs> trying to mitigate the, the power. Uh, yes. Okay. Gardevoir. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. Rock Ruff. <gasps> I love Rock Ruff. Yes, dude. Who doesn't him. love Rock Ruff? Okay. But which evolution of Rock Ruff? I don't. All. Oh, put them all in a, I, a whole team full of Rock I, Ruffs. <laughs> I just don't like the, the nighttime version. He's just kind of meh. Let me go. Let me go look. I don't remember. Like the midnight form. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Midnight you mean form Sonic is. Character? <laughs> yeah, he's a Sonic character. <laughs> um, but like the dusk form <sighs> and the dawn form are so good. I love Rock Ruff so much. I didn't even know there. Like when I was playing, I didn't even know there was a dusk form. I was like, mm -hmm. the fuck? This is dope as shit. I love the orange. I to be honest, I actually don't dislike the midnight form that much. Um. I kind of mm -hmm. like that it's a little bit more pushed. It's a little bit more, uh, they, they push the design a little bit. I, I think it's the weakest by by a, a fair margin, mm -hmm. but I do like how, the, because it's midnight, it's it's this specifically different concept. Yes. Uh, but it does look like a Sonic character. <laughs> it absolutely does. That form is stupidly difficult to get. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, a rock rough with own tempo evolves into dusk form Lycanroc when leveled up from 5 p.m. to 5.59 yep. in, in game time, which yep. is opposite the real time in Pokemon Ultra Moon. Mm -hmm. That is something else. Yeah, no, rock rough, but but even but even without Lycanroc, rock rough is fucking excellent. Excellent Pokemon. It's so definitely one of my favorite dogs. Yeah, I look I'm I'm of the controversial opinions that Pokemon could stand to have less dogs because there's just it's such a go to no, that's design choice. Fair. But if I had but I if I had there, I don't know that like if I had to get rid of a bunch of dog Pokemon rock rough is not going rock rough yeah. is staying. I love the I in particular. It's the rock. Cause the, you know, like a rough, right? A rough is yes. a, like a corded rough is like a you know for fashion. I love that he has a rock rough. Yes, it's really good. I think that's fucking genius. It's like triple mm -hmm. genius. It's so it's really good. smart. Yeah, there is a cat on the screen. Nobody yes. cares about Pokemon anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's she's needing, so I thought I would switch over. Uh, no, it's fair. But to say, I, I I thought somebody did a. Play with kitten mm -mm. redemption. Okay, well I gotta go. One more, and then I gotta go. go. Everybody, everybody right. pretend to care about what we're talking about for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, oh wow. Okay, this is gonna be maybe a short, short one. Chancy. I actually like Chancy. Um, oh really? Okay, I'm genuinely surprised by that. Okay, I I, I don't like, like Blissy, but I like Chancy. Um, I remember specifically like as a kid, like trying to get a Chancy in the Safari Dang. Zone for hours and never being able to. But I always really like Chansey. It's just kind of like round and it's a friend and I don't know. There's nothing offensive about him. Sure. So, yeah. All right. Okay, cool. I I I'm I am uh surprised, but not but not unpleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. Uh my, my I I will say this much. I definitely I definitely I my, my opinion about Blissey has been jaded by Pokémon Go. Because yeah. Same. When I tried to get back into Pokemon Go, I saw that basically you just stick a Blissey on a gym and it makes people sit there for like four hours. And I was like, mm -hmm. why? <laughs> also, yeah, why I is, agree. Audino is, is a better Chansey, but Chansey's good too, I think. What's Audino? Uh, it's. Audino sounds just... like a DJ. Yeah. Oh, she's done. All right. Oh, well, she's gonna nope. come up here probably. I, nope. nope. I like Chansey much more than this. This is this is exactly the kind of design I don't like. That's fair. This is definitely in the in the in the bucket with um with Alola and Raichu. Not my jam. Mm -hmm. No, that's fair. What it, what um, is it? It's just a normal type that I became it's, it's a fairy a thing. type. It's one of those Pokemon that's just a thing. It's like a creature. It's trans rights, is it? How? Because of the color scheme. Yes. 
Not anymore. Oh, they, I, they, I did. Sorry. They 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 nerfed uh, Chansey in Pokemon Go. Anyway, Todd, you oh, should go. Mega, okay, and... I actually like Mega Dino more. Yeah, Mega Dino is really good too. Oh, yeah. Sylveon right. Strange Rights. Yes. I got a bounce. See go. you guys later. This was fun. Bye. I had a good time. Maybe see you next Fucking Pokemon, Pokemon stream. I don't know. Maybe. Can't lock me down, dear. I'm a nomad. That's true. Unlike you, you, who is mad all the time. Ha 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 gone. Anyway. Hi, chat. Should we just draw Sylveon as like just straight up trans rights? Cause I'm kind of feeling it. Like I'm kind of feeling not just, just not fucking up Sylveon too much, but I also kind of want to fuck up Sylveon cause that's been our thing. Madoka Sylveon. I don't know. Shiny Sylveon? We can make a shiny Sylveon. Yeah, it's good as new. Only watched once. Or maybe ace colors. But I like the trans right colors. I don't know. Life is hard. Make its ribbons duct tape. Oh, no. Like someone just took a dog and stuck bows to it. Ooh, Sylveon in a costume. Hold on. I know they have them. What if? Okay, I'm 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 having a think. Having a think real quick on the side. Hold on, one sec. What if? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, oh, ducks. <laughs> Why? Okay. All right. Speaking of, uh, I really need to get those friggin' VTubers done for people to use. Chat, let me know if you figure it out. Yes, it's an Eevee hoodie. I think it's cute. It's cute. And at this point, like I should probably just color like it however I want, right? Because, you know, man's whites. Trans rights being human rights, and so on and so forth. And so that being said, we're just going to color this like we would. Because it deserves to be. Yeah, it's the naked Eevee's fur that we put back on. It's fine. 
Oh god, I just thought about naked Sylveon, and I hate it. I hate it. I hate it a lot. I don't want to think about this anymore. Um, and that's all white. And there's like this color. No, white. I like coloring books. I don't know about you, but I just. I could sit here and just be like, ooh, let's get a color. I have a fun coloring day. What is this, Minecraft? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> no, we're not making naked Sylveon. I don't want to make a naked Sylveon. I respect Sylveon too much for that. There's too much respect, honestly, for that to happen. It did. Da-da. Sylveon writes. It's true. Uh, okay. I just need, like, Sylveon itself. Okay. You gotta get them references, right? Because references is what makes you out better. If you don't use references, you're a dingus. You should use them. Oh, I just had a really cute idea. Oh no. Hype beast? What does that even mean? What does that mean? I. What does that mean? What is a hype beast? Beast is like streetwear fashion, so like sneakers, hoodies, joggers. Gotcha. That makes more sense. Also, Todd, I thought you had to leave. <laughs> Last resign me. Okay, that makes more sense. Gotcha. Man, I wish I could just turn my DS. I'm... I'm an idiot. I can literally just do that. Listen, y'all don't come here for, like, smart. Y'all come here for stupid, and it shows. Yeah, I'm playing on a DS. I can very easily rotate it. Anyway. 
now that I'm done rotating. Do you think Nintendo was like, what color should we make Sylveon? And someone went, someone went trans rights and they were like, yeah, sure. Or do you think they were just like, let's just make it these colors? Do you think they knew about the trans rights flag when they made Sylveon? I think they cared. Yeah, they probably didn't care. Someone could have snuck it in. That's true. That's an option. Uh, pink. And then pink, 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 okay. And then that's all good inside of ears. That's good. And now the fun part. I kind of- hold on, I want to know... Oh! Alright. Good. It helps that like I'm half working with like the chalk tool, right? Thoughts on Madoka Magica is good. I like it. Personally, like I had a fun time. I know magical girl shit isn't everybody's, like, hot take, but, like, I don't know. It was fun. I had a fun time. Also a sad time, but a fun time. <laughs> Butt's doing a hurt, a big hurt.
Belteon? Drapion. Oh, see, Drapion's a thing already, isn't it? having a fun time now <laughs> and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but I'm just enjoying myself I'm just coloring having a good time making art hell yeah fun times yeah No, it's fine. Oh, they used like that purpley color. This color to kind of line some stuff. So go in a little bit. Wait, no. Like in front. Yeah, like that. This music is driving me crazy. <laughs> That's a little bit better. A little bit stronger of a piece. Yeah, a little bit! I see what they did different. They did this for these, and I can do that real quick. It's weird, because I always thought those were white for Sylveon. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, I guess. And I'm wrong. It's fine. Uh, continue. Yep. Yep. Add the highlights. Okay, cool. Cool. Adding highlights. Oh boy. Highlights. And then I guess also maybe highlights on the ears for you. Yep. 
Yep, yep. And then like maybe like here. That looks good. I like that. All right. Continue. Uh huh. Low opacity. Too much. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, okay. We got this. We got this. And then here. 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 Huh? Anywhere else? No, it doesn't look like it. Gotcha. Cool. And then we'll also go in some like this. Cause that's gonna cast a shadow, right? I do kind of wish this did be like, hey, here's what you need to know about cast shadows sort of thing, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Just like real pastels, everything gets in everything else's way, and it's fucking great! Oh my god. Ugh. Just gotta smudge. You gotta keep smudging. You gotta keep smudging until it's good. Right? Much until it's good. Ah! Just keep smudging. Ah! All right. That's well smudgened. I see. There we go. It's nice and smudged. Mm hmm. Fuck using a pastel for this. Mixed media. It's far superior. <laughs> 
that Sylveon is the reject reject evolution I want to return to Eevee. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Nothing wrong with wanting to return to Eevee, honestly. Listen, sometimes you just, like, don't want to think about what you came from. And sometimes maybe you want to just go back to when life was simple and you didn't think about things. You just didn't think and you still don't think, but you maybe want to think a little bit less. Yeah? One last thing. Very important. Extremely important, in fact. Yeah, it could be a knife. Just a really, really long knife. Really long, wavy knife. Right? We're almost done. Yeah. Nice. Nice. There we go. Now it's good. Now it's good. Trans rights or I get the knife again. It's right. Perfect. Cool. I'm gonna go get another cup of coffee real quick. No, we're not switching the flag. I'm gonna go get another cup of coffee because I'm out. Y'all have fun. I'm gonna put this on. Be right back. And I don't know. Uh, let's see. What What do you want to listen to? Not that. Not that. Uh, what about smudge? Smudge is not an option. Um, what? That was a spoiler. I'll be back. It's a little too fast.
I'm glad. I also taste plaid. So, anyway. So, back to this, I guess. I was also apparently deafened, which is very fun. Please validate, Sar, if you are human. Please. Oh yeah, Dear Big Band is a thing. It's one of the few emotes that I never see, but it's made. You know, so. Anyway, uh, I think we're done with this. So yeah, let's go. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. My version? His version. My version? His version. Ooh. Hi. He made this. We did it. Oh, trans rights. Oh, trans rights. Hey, Dither. What's up? How you doing? Trans fucking rights, fam. Trans rights, human rights. It's really good background, actually. I really like it. I'm gonna actually even screenshot it. The tiny brown dot right there, and it bothers me. Right there. My signature. It's fine, no one's gonna notice. Oh god, count the frames! Oh god, pick the frames up, chat! Oh no! Oh god. Oh no. Help me pick them up. Oh god. Oh. Oh no. Oh god. Hi. How badly do I want to doodle fort this kid? Uh, yeah, sorry. I forgot to turn the game audio back on. Um, we got like 20 frames, 38, 42. Can we get a 60? We cannot get a 60. <laughs> cool. Um, oh, we got a 60. All right, well, um, it's one of those things where, like, I could doodle fort it, but at the same time, like, I don't know. Um, which one? This one's about line weight. This one's about- oh my god! Okay, we need to save that one. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Lapras it is. Yep. Lee is trying, and that's the point. 25 bits, 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 25 bits. She's so pretty. Crying for pig of brains, super trapped digibitche. Korean TTS is rough. Thank you for the 25 mimic. Oh. Lapras is so good! Like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. So then what if I just do this and then you just give me the fucking How am I gonna fuck up Lapras chat? Yeah, it was supposed to be TTS Korean. Last app for a bit, I bought all three of my kids OG Tamagotchis. Oh my god. That's amazing. Goth Lapras? 
Hydro Goth Lapras. Hydro Goth Lapras it is. This one's staring over here at something. This one's like happy. This one's like just like mmm. And this one will be like sad. This one's sad. Yeah. And then like spike collar, right? And then like crown with spikes and, and flowers and Maybe like fishnet on these, right? That's a little dark. Oh, oh no. Hmm. Interesting. All right, we're not gonna talk about how this is fishnet. It's fine, don't worry about it. Also, there'll be fingerless gloves, so they'll end right here. Huh? <laughs> I'm not into it. I mean, Dither, you're a little into it. Let's be honest. We need to be honest with ourselves. It's a statement on overfishing! Oh no. Mm hmm. Um, it'll have like the drippy eye makeup, right? Way too much eyeliner. It'll be disinterested in anything you have to say. Um, yeah. Hmm. Give it, like, some, like, a cross, maybe? I'm thinking. And then also an Ankh, because wear as many religious symbols as you can, kids. That's hip. That's happening. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, we could do, we could do, uh, this. Perfect. I think we're good. <laughs> Who knew Goth believes in coexisting? I saw the worst fucking sticker on a car the other day, and I want to talk about this because it makes me so goddamn angry, and I only forgot about it until now. Fuck. It was... Fuck. It was a coexist sticker, right? But it was all made out of AK-47s, and it pisses me off so fucking bad! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! It made me so angry! Ah! Fuck! God damn it! Mm. Like, like, I get, I get, I get that you like your guns, I get that, I do, but we are literally a country that's main trope is that we have mass shootings every single week. Come on! It makes me so angry! It makes me literally so angry. Oh my god. Yes, you can offer me a hug. I... 
I'm good. I just wanted to get that off my chest because it just infuriated me. Like, I literally wanted to just, like, honk at the car and flip them off and shit, but, like, they were in front of us, so it wouldn't have worked in the first place. Ugh. I... I'm gonna have a piece of candy to make myself feel better. Hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna eat a piece of candy to make myself feel better. Oh my god. I don't think I've been that angry on a fucking stream in a while. It, yeah, it absolutely is sour strip time. Have you had them yet, Tom? Calvi, stop. You, do you like sour candy? Tom, get the fucking things, they're amazing. Wait, Dither, what kind of sour stripper you, What kind of stripper are you talking about? Uh huh. That is the joke. In fact. Oh, you're fine. Have I also made you try sour strips? How many fucking people have I gotten to try these damn things? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but I also don't want to rot my teeth, so I try to eat it and minimalistic fashion and it's you know like trying to what's the word I'm going for here um to eat it in a comfortable way that just makes me actually enjoy the flavor instead of having like sour fucking chocolate <laughs> You did actually? Oh no, you bought. <laughs> movie per chat decision? Yeah! Like the Monster Hunter movie is like weirdly okay! It's it's okay! <laughs> it is 90% hunting monsters or running from them! And that's a Monster Hunter movie, and it's okay! It's not terrible! It's not great! Not terrible! There was one line that really bugged me. Which line? Don't pay for it, though. <clears throat> no, I didn't say that. What? <laughs> oh, they focus way too much on Spider-Man when they have hundreds. Yeah, that was weird that they, they focused on the Nyarcella, but the reason they focused on the Nyarcella was to deal with the Diablos. Right, but then it winds up not working, which shows that they have... <laughs> yeah, sorry, same. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, same. <laughs> um, and... Oh my god, what? Hello? I fucking hate phone calls! <laughs> I hate them! I ha and I hate that I have to fucking answer them! <laughs> it's fine. <sighs> yeah, I'm okay with the Apex being a Rathalos too, but like... Also, I don't know, there's other options?
Yeah, it's supposed to be like a Dread King. So it's like a really fucking strong Rathalos, but still, it, I don't know. It's still kind of dumb. I can I say one of my favorite things is that those fucking dual swords did nothing because in game like they they don't do anything. You don't see them really do anything until something breaks off. They're not doing any damage. I was just like and in my head, like the numbers like 50, 50, 80 popped up and I was just like, all right. <laughs> Hey, dual swords are actually pretty good. I will defend dual swords. Mm -hmm. The correction on this is a lot, can I just say? There's like a really big stabilizer on this. The the swag axe is legit one of my new favorite weapons, and I love it. Yes, Tom, you don't need a permit for that here. <laughs> 